What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Okay, we are back and it's Friday, uh, the day of our giveaway. So I had promised you guys to do the giveaway one week early, so that way those that do not win uh, this week can get a chance to uh, grab the uh, super discount that they have going on right now. The game is actually currently on sale for 25% off on the Steam store, which puts it at, I think, $15 exact. So, yeah, it's a great time to, to get the game right now because the... Uh, the sale will end next week, um, April 27th. And after the sale, they're going to raise the price of the game. And I think it's going up by, by $10. So I think we're looking at $30 for the game, which is still an amazing deal, even if you don't get it uh, with any discount. Because I personally feel that the game is worth you know, $30. $30 to $40 is a good price range for this game because they've put so much into this game for the past three years. Um, or two, two, two years, two and a half years. Because uh, realize that this game was actually released on the Epic Game Store exclusively for one year. And then they just recently uh, released it um, on the Steam Store in November. So it's been six months since. So it's been two and a half years that they've actually developed this game there's so much content in this that I really do feel like this is a pretty strong, solid price point. And they're still going to add new content. They said that they're going to extend their early access beyond the original date, which was June. So that originally, I think they planned on releasing this uh, version 1.0 on, in June um, after the Foxes and doing some final tweaks to the uh, UIs. But uh, they recently announced that they plan on continuing the early access program some more because they've got a lot of new ideas that they want to add into the game to make it awesome. So I'm pretty excited about that. And this game is definitely worth the buy now because it's, it's really release worthy. And uh, you're going to get bi-weekly updates, which is also amazing. So think of these bi-weekly updates since November as post-launch updates. And that's still amazing in my opinion. Um, all right, so today we will do our giveaway, and uh, if you don't win and you don't catch the uh, the promo, I will still continue to do Against the Storm giveaways because the devs actually gave me a bunch of keys, and I do have keys to still give away for the next couple of months still. Uh, can I refund mine and buy it on the, on the sale after the 300-hour time play? No, no, Greg, I don't think that works. Uh, what game are we talking about? Yeah, we're talking about Against the Storm right now, and... Uh, that is the uh, giveaway that I'm doing the end of uh, the stream today. Now, if you already have Against the Storm and, uh, you know, if you've got your tickets in the raffle pool, you can choose to uh, uh, pick any other game keys that I have available uh, in substitution of Against the Storm. So even if you own Against the Storm, uh, you can still win something. I'll give you some, some keys to choose from. All right, so... Uh, and then I'll go over, like, the new wheel spin update because the developers for the wheel spin actually updated to be a little bit more visual and uh, interesting so I, i'm pretty excited to show you the new wheel all right so let's go ahead and uh jump in to the screen oh yeah a couple of more news to give give out um so the devs uh, said that uh they are going to give me a sneak peek next week or whatever that's update being updated on the um april 27th so I got a message last night. They've already released the experimental branch that they were testing, I guess, yesterday or the day before. They were, the experimental branch was really short. It was just to test out, like, you know, um, CPU crash problems. And apparently whoever was having that problem tested out the experimental branch and it's no longer crashing. So they released that as a hotfix. So the hotfix yesterday was just basically whatever the experimental branch was. There will not be an experimental branch for the 27th, but... I'm going to get some sort of sneak peek and that I can share with you because they actually, or one of the devs mentioned that to me. Because uh, he's going out on vacation and he's like saying, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to be out for a little bit, but uh, I will share with you something next week. So that's really exciting. All right. So yesterday we won a bunch of really interesting uh, modifiers. 
I think I did the no ban or the no traders yesterday, uh, Bandit Camp, and uh, I think I won something else yesterday too. I can't remember, but I, I think our win streak now is currently at thirteen. I think we're on our thirteenth win streak now, right? Yesterday was twelve. I can't remember. Let me look at the VOD, but I'm pretty sure we're up to 13 now. Um, yesterday was at 12, right? Last we ended. And, uh, yeah, let me make sure, actually, before I enter these numbers in. Pretty sure our win streak is now up to, up to 13. Hang on, there we go. Give me one second, I'm, I'm going to verify here our town settlement. Here we go. So yesterday, the last town was called 12, so that means that we actually have 13 wins. All right, so this is a win streak of 13 now, 13 towns that we've won. Let me go ahead and turn on the sound for the game. Uh, let's see. Lastly, okay, yeah, okay. F F R one dome recently just followed. Thank you for that follow, by the way. And he just bought it a few days ago. Uh, yeah, FEMA watch twelve. Wow, thank you for for reminding me there, FEMA. Appreciate that. It's freedom. Okay, so I will call you freedom. Um, and also I want to give a shout out to Comrade Data Dat Love sixty nine. I just woke up and saw your sub six hours ago. So thank you for that prime sub there. Appreciate that. Hey, mad raving man. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. See how I want to handle this. We also got first in the last faction run. It's your Forsaken God Temple, right? Guaranteed more time orders. Okay, that's not terribly bad. I go this one. That's 1236. And that blue guy is looking like he's going to beat me because he's got number five there. The only other guy that might catch up to me is this one over here, right? But that's Frost Modifier. All right, I'm going to give this guy, right? I'm going to block this guy completely. That way we extend to the left. Actually, does that make sense? There's only, like, what, two here? This guy's gonna probably get the most if he goes out this direction. Yeah, I think this guy's gonna get the most modifiers hit. But I don't know what I'm thinking here. Frost is a nice modifier. Yeah, it's not a bad modifier. It's a little tricky. It requires my design to change up a little bit. Yeah, I'm just looking at what's coming up ahead along these little circles. So if this this guy gets this, but he won't get a lot of modifiers. And if this guy gets gets that, he's going to get a lot of modifiers going this way. So I think I'm going to go this direction here. Marshlands. I'm not thrilled about marshlands. It's not my favorite. Well, you know what? I can probably just do this. That's the same, right? And then continue off of that. All right, we'll do that. I'm okay with that. Uh, I didn't get past the NPC upgrades yet. Don't know really how they work. Oh, yeah. So, well, the faction thing, I'll, it's not that important. I've explained it in one of my other videos, um, but I will explain it to you a little bit later on. The general idea is that these numbers here are the other factions that's going to settle there. You, if you roll your mouse over, it says you heard the brass orders planning to embark here in seven years, right? So, what these numbers generally mean is that if you don't take this spot, if you don't encompass him inside your your embarkation, right? Uh, he's going to take that town in seven years, and then he's going to take the territory surrounding that center point, right? So if I don't take this here or here, here, whatever it is, he's not encompassed in my territory, then he's going to get the, the seven spots here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And he's going to block this for me. So I won't be able to get anything within this territory after the five years, right? Um, but if I actually, let's say if I actually take this here or here, 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 right, I encompass him, then, uh, he will definitely get blocked. He will be deleted. Uh, even if I spend nine years or 10 years, uh, with this town, I am guaranteed those territories if I win. 
assuming that I win. If I don't win, let's say I fail in 10 years, he's going to take that spot. That's an example. Now, if I come back and I beat this in six years and I come back, this guy's going to have a one and that gives me a chance to also take this guy out as well. So if you're really fast enough, you can actually take this guy out and then also come back and take this guy out. So that's what the numbers mean. All right, so as long as you encompass him and you're guaranteed to, to block him. All right, so we're going to go there. And okay, so and then what happens is at the end of the year, the queen will um, will give you extra reward points based on whoever has the most the most points. So at the top right screen here, these are the faction leaderboards. And you get points based on how far you go out, how many territories you've covered, and then how many uh, modifiers you've taken, right? And how many towns you've done. So those are how you get points. It's just a little mini overview world game thing that you can actually get extra resource points so that you can use that to upgrade your citadel. I mean, for me, why I compete is because I want to rack up my, my resource points so I can spend it on sacrificing stuff at the Forsaken Altar. I can win in three years. Uh, yeah, it's possible in three years, maybe, if I play a lower difficulty. I don't think it's possible on P20. I think I might have won in under five years on P20, but I don't think I've ever won a game on P20 in three years. I can't do it. I can't. Yeah, I mean, you can do it in three years in, like, Settlers easily. Easily. Pioneer, even. All right, so what do I want to do here? I think I'm going to go with a middle. Because I like humans now. I really do like humans. Wow, the top actually has five food items, huh? I don't know. I think I might take the top. I think I'm going to take the top. Five food items is pretty good. And it's also got nine people. Take the coins. I'll take the farm. Take the planks. I might be brick starved, but that's okay. Yeah, it's really hot. Oh, I don't know. Well, okay, the middle actually does have extra parts. Extra parts are going to come in handy. Um, you know what? I'll do the middle. Yeah, I'll do the middle. All right, so we are now up to April 21-P20-13. number We want 13 games, guys. Hey, Blood Mass, welcome back. Thank you for hanging out. Good afternoon. Hello. Uh, you unlocked the water system today? That's fun. Yeah, the water system's fun. Uh, what did you say by second best? What do you mean by second best? What is second best? I'm just trying to read your comment. Alright, so recap. I'm doing frost, which is reduce the radius of the hearth by minus three fields. I'm going to take the middle because I like having humans on my team. It helps with the farm. It gives me the, the soil patches. And the humans, even though it comes with less food, I'm comparing the difference between the top and the middle. That 35 parts actually will probably come in handy. So, and fox, uh, and then lizards early on is very useful to move rep. And then we're taking the farm, we're taking planks, and then we're taking amber. Let's go. All right, so you're, you're saying, yeah, 033 chilling here at work. About second best. Obviously, it was the second caravan. Oh, the second caravan is second best? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I just went with that because of the the parts. All right, what do we got here? Strange visions. Villagers with this fact have 20% chance of doubling their yield with each production. Oh, this is really nice. As long as they have housing, they can double their chance of yield and drizzle. Oh, this is really nice, guys. Very, very nice. You lose one unit of random type of water every two minutes of water using rain engine. Okay, that's kind of bad during the storm. Rain is causing trees to rot. Okay, this is really bad. That means level two during the storm, I have to stop chopping trees. We had that yesterday, actually. 
was a pain in the butt. I had to keep juggling my woodcutters. The hearth resistance is decreased by 200. That's kind of a crappy thing, but it's manageable. Extra blight post will help. And then this one, villagers with this effect takes 200% longer br breaks. Okay, so if they have services, that's not a big deal. All right, so this is not terribly bad. I think the only one that's kind of crappy is this one. And then I see soil already on this map. Nice. On our starting blade. Nice. Okay, three and two. All right, so we're slightly brick starved for this run. But this might give us a little bit of something here. 25% with a extra chance there. And then that's the nearest soil patch. Great. Very good. Very good. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our food controls. Take this off, take this off, take this off. Take that off. I'll let them eat whatever that's here and that until I get a production building going. I'm going to place my woodcutter down. Since this is the start of the stream, I'm going to go over some of my strategies again very early. So that way people who watch my videos on bot my VODs on YouTube will at least catch some of my early strategy. Alright, so... Here, early on, I place my woodcutters right next to the warehouse. Uh, I generally don't place my woodcutters here or, or wherever over here or, or whatnot. That's because the woodcutters can be moved around for free. And you can hit the V key while rolling your mouse over it. So that's how I pick it up and move it around. I just roll my mouse over hit V. Now, since the woodcutter is free move, you want to put it right next to the warehouse so they can actually construct it really fast and deliver the parts all in one go instead of like walking all the way over here or wherever the hell you decide to place it, right? Because some people, and I've seen people make these mistakes often when I watch other streamers or other videos, they just click on whatever and they just, you know, put their, you know, their buildings here, right? And like, oh, hey, you know, I see a little thing here. I'm going to place it here and, and build it over there, right? That's a really bad mistake because this particular building has 15 wood and five parts. That's and their carrying capacity is five. If you only have one worker, that's four trips back and forth like this. And so that's really silly to do on the very early part of the game. You want to just place it right next to the warehouse like this, where they can just walk back and forth really fast. So that's that's the reason why you know at the very beginning of the game or or any camps, right? That's free move. You want to you wanna place it next to the warehouse. And then secondly, what I generally do is I hold shift click, right, shift, and then I click on this to change priorities. So I want my woodcutters to be, be built first. So that way, when you place down your roads to plan your city, right, they'll do the, wood, the woodcutters first, and then after that, they'll do the roads, right? So let's say, you know, I'll, I'll do, I'll plan it out, and I'll go, okay, boom, boom. Boom, whatever, for my housing, right? These are going to be be done uh, uh, after that with zero priorities. And then generally I place down, like, you know, my park here. And my opening strategy, I normally just do a rain collector. Throw it down. And then I'll just place that over here. By default, they build in the order you plan? Yes, by default, they build in the order you plan. Unless you do priorities. Um... All right, so and sometimes they'll do the roads because somebody else is already working on it. Um, all right, so I'm, I go ahead and I look at this. Oh, I'll take the left. A little too early for the greenhouse, but the left is really good for tools and planks. I'm gonna take that one. Uh, is there any point to starting with farms so we get some food? Uh, since I've got that farm patch there, maybe. <laughs> but they might not catch it in time, so we'll see. Oh, they keep wanting to give me this greenhouse. The kiln is really nice to have. I'll take the kiln. And then I'm going to take the fuel kitchen for the porridge, right? I'm going to go ahead and install it for the water. Uh, that way we can get that going. So I'm going to commit to that and I have the rain collector. I don't think they're going to finish this in time to get that farm going. 
And I also change out my hearth to be whatever that's more useful. Early on, the lizards are not that useful because you can't really move rep. Uh, the humans slow down the Queens of Patience, so I like to throw that in there. If I, you don't have humans, the second best is probably the wood, uh, the beaver and the harpies, right? Because initially, this does not require a whole lot to construct, so that's only like three parts. So carrying that back and forth is not that big of a deal. The harpy is going to be useful for the shelter because the shelter is 15. So it increases carrying capacity. That makes it only two trips instead of three trips. Right, the kiln is definitely really good for for the um, for the jerkies and everything. I'm gonna switch to the so we don't burn the wood since we we have a kiln now. And then once you have the thing built, you can lift it up and move it wherever you want. All right, so why do I plan this, and then why do I plan on the park? Well. The reason for that is I want to get to the plus two resolve as quickly as possible so I can actually uh, increase my lizard resolve and favor them. So decorations is four and that's comfort, which is the park. The park is a decoration of four automatically. It's two by two. So that gets me the four off of the park easily. And that's just, you know, they only have to like transport to this. Um, whoops, to this, right? three times rather than four. So if you were doing something like this, right? Boom, 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 which I used to do. That's four trips that they have to go and do and build four times. But if you actually do it here, it's only like three trips, right? Park, boom, boom, boom. Or, you know, and then they just build it. So that's more efficient. It's faster. That's why I always do the park, the, the park first instead of like four little ones. Yeah, usually mostly harpies. Yeah, I mean, harpies not terribly bad, but once you... Once you've got a decent amount set up, it's better to always have the humans running because the humans give you 0.1 instead of 0.17, and that's a huge difference over time. And then when you when you look at the board and you see like, okay, well it looks like uh, there's a threshold movement and you're off by one or or whatever, you can switch the lizard in. Also, I notice you never uh, take keeper off of it. it. Really helps in the beginning. He can be built uh, built for one minute. Uh, after he brings fuel to Altar. Oh, oh, oh I see what you're saying, yeah. Um. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I don't think they're going to finish all this in time. But we, I think we've got enough food to last us one season, so it's not terribly bad. Take a look at this. Tanning? Ugh. I'm gonna re-roll this. I'm okay with the press. I'll take that. I mean, I don't want to waste my re-rolls. This is not terribly bad, so I'm gonna take it. Oh, you're saying he's used the extra guy to work. Well, yeah, okay. It really depends. I prefer the... I prefer having the the humans on there early and during the first one minute because that point one per movement is not bad. That's a start. I mean, I'd like to switch in as soon as you can. But yeah, if you don't have humans, then your suggestion is a very good idea, taking off the Firekeeper. I've never actually done that strategy, but that's a very good strategy, Bima. So it's, a, it's an interesting suggestion. But yeah, I... <laughs> The, exactly. For me, since yeah, don't make me yeah. Blood mess says don't ta don't make Ron take off a uh, firekeeper or he'll forget like building a trader. Yeah, sometimes I, a lot of times I forget to do things because it's really hard streaming and talking to you guys at the same time. Like I've missed. I planned out buying something off the trader. I spent all my money. I got the money and then I somebody asked me a question. I started answering the question and I unpaused accidentally and boom, the trader disappeared and I forgot to buy whatever it is that I sold all my resources off to buy i was trying to buy some perk or or yesterday i was trying to buy the plantation and i sold off money to get 28 coins and bam the trader disappeared so yeah it's it's really hard for me to sometimes to like keep up with chat answering questions and play the game at the same time um but if i was if i were playing off stream 
it's easier for me to like do things without having to pay attention to chat. But yeah, <laughs> blood mess is right. Like if you, if I take that off, I might forget. There's so many things moving around in the game that you have to keep track of. Like I used to forget to like change my consumptions. I had default off. Right now with the hunger stack, I have everything default on and then I just got to go back and remember to default or turn these things off, right? So do you lose buffs when he is working, uh, Pima, or can you use him? I think the buff is temporarily based on um, that one minute cycle. So I don't know. I think the buff is immediate. The buff is immediate though. I think the buff is immediate when you switch it out. I think the buff is immediate. For, for for example, like if I switch this out, see how it's immediate? It does change immediately. Here, watch. See, it's points, whatever. Hey, Blood Mash. Thank you for that gift sub. Appreciate that. Yay. I gotta add that into the... The ticket pool. Hey, thank you. I had a new new follower and you getting a sub today, Freedom. Grats. So all I gotta do now is sitting around and wait. You know what? Let me take these guys off because we don't have enough workers. Pennywise UK gets a sub. Nice. I think Pennywise followed yesterday or the day before. I think I should have done these first to get that green water early. Kind of screwed that up. Uh -huh. Yep, I screwed that up. I should have gotten that green water early. Dang it. It's busy talking. I, I normally get that green water very early on before these houses. Oh, man. Field Kitchen is an essential building, but you unlock that, like, very, very late on the, on the Citadel tree. So, yeah, that's something. You definitely want to get the Cid the Field Kitchen as one of your upgrades. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to have very early on. Trying to get the porridge up before this berries thing r runs out. Because we only we only came with two food slots, so that's why I'm, I was a little concerned about the whole food thing. So I gotta get this trade post up. Let me see if I can carve that first. <laughs> We're getting that trade post out of the way. All right, so let me get the kiln. Need to get that kiln running too, because of the blue water. Huh.
You gotta deliver that, right? <laughs> oh, come on. Coffee break? Are you kidding me? Put you in here. Alright, I gotta get this trade post in here, right? Now, one of the things I realize that if you do move this, I think this resets because I noticed that. So I'm waiting until this guy's done before moving it. I want to stick my kiln right there across the street. Because he will reset that. We can see that in a little bit here. Oh, eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> He's already on break. Um. And then we're going to need this as soon as possible. And I need to get the carpenter here running. I think we only have like that's six, right? Man, I gotta get this as soon as possible. That might be a problem. Yeah, that might be a problem on the order I did this. I don't think I can get that kiln in time because I'm brick starved. Hopefully the trader gets me something. Because I'm worried about putting in the uh, light post. Okay. All right, so, all right, so one of the other strategy here is that I always try to get the trade post up early during the storm. So that way he arrives roughly exactly the same time as my cornerstone pick. I never take the newcomers during the storm because a lot of times you might get a cornerstone that says, hey, you know, uh, it's called the Stormwalker's Tax that is an ethereal where you have to dump all your money. Otherwise, you lose it. If you take the cornerstone, it basically deletes all the, the money that you have in your, your warehouse, right, as an exchange. And then it gives you money for newcomers that you pick. So the reason why I have the, the trader here is that I can dump my money. Ooh, wow. That's an amazing deal. I definitely want that. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm going to take that now. There's no question on that. <laughs> so that way I can look at this and decide uh, if I want to get the... Um, I think I'm going to take this. Right, because you might get like an ethereal, it's called an ethereal cornerstone where you can't, if you unpause, the, the choice disappears. So you have to make the choice before you unpause. And sometimes the choice deletes your fuel or deletes your, your money. So I'd like to have the trader available so I can get rid of stuff if, uh, if, I, if I need to. Uh, but this is really good, right? Uh, zooming in, uh, let's see here, question is, you know, before you needed to look for those, those like zooming. Uh, the question here is, Field Kitchen is like the last left or, or, yeah, it's very, it's very at the top of the screen. I usually have to go for planks, specifically houses, and then explore for complex food. Um, oh yeah, well, if you don't have the Field Kitchen, right, you, you definitely are a little bit at a disadvantage if you don't have the Field Kitchen. Oh, I just realized that they added the icon for the soil indicator on that glade. Good to know. By the way, is is it stable version or test? Okay, this is all. This is stable version. There's no test on this. The there is no experimental branch going on right now. Whatever they they were experimenting yesterday it was just a a a hot fix that they rolled out to fix like a CPU crash. And then uh, FEMA says that's a human passive ability. Yeah. So the the little icon here for the soil that's the human ability it changed from the from the experimental branch during the experimental branch they just had this icon with a black border or white border 
the live version now actually has that green glow. And then the rest of the questions here, yeah, I know, but before you needed to look, oh, yeah, well, this is the passive. Before the humans, like you can, you can still look at the soil lines, but I don't really look as much anymore. I really don't care. If I, I mean, if I see it at the corner of my eye, I'm gonna go in that direction, but I'm not gonna actively go and look. I mean, if I don't have a human, I might actively look. Uh, and that's assuming that I have soil, uh, a farm though. And then uh, the other question here: zooming is just a just you do in the game. This is passive skill for humans. You can show the closest field. I almost got all the upgrades in the Citadel when I played like this half a year ago. Not much on the the prestige levels, kind of like 14 or I can't remember. Yeah, it was added with foxes. The season is the best build for farm. What season is the best best build farm right before the storm? Yeah, I mean you want to get the farm before the storm. I forgot to set it up. I was busy building all this other stuff. But yeah, you want to get this up and running. Um, right now I'm kind of worried about this. Because I need to get... I need to get bricks. To get the... Um, the blight post. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to build this as quickly as I can. This one right here, right? And then let's take a look at our newcomers. Ooh. Arby's, huh? I'm gonna go with the loft. We get the money. And we get some fabric, I guess. That's fine. We'll go with the loft. And I'm gonna disable the harpies coats. So we can use save that for something. And then... Let me see here. What do I want to do about this harpy thing? Alright, I'm gonna do the harpy house. In the back here. And then... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna build the lizard house. Oh, I can't build the lizard, lizard house. It requires bricks. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I'll put that there. Then I'm gonna look at my orders. Oh, no. Tablet again. Why do they keep giving me these tablets? Tablet quest, guys. Oh, no. Tablet for food, right? Or tablet for, for coal. Oh, no. I guess I'll do... I'll do that one. That's fine. I hate that. I hate getting the tablet so early. All right, I'm going to get this one because we're brick starved and we actually have tools from the lizards, so that's amazing. That's an amazing one. Oh no, in 11 minutes. What do I get? A butcher? Uh, they really want me to open some large glades early, huh? I broke the curse the last five runs. If I do that now, I mean, I can get that out of the way too, right? But they want me to do this in 11 minutes. I mean, this is easy on the left. I can, if I'm desperate for food, I get that. I like this because the grains increase. And the fabric, since we have harpies. But the one on the right is also tempting. That means I have to pop two right away. I have nine coins. That means I have to pop this one. And this one, maybe. And then solve it. It's also butcher buff. Yeah, the butcher buff too. You're right. You also get a 50% perk. Which makes the butcher better, right? Like 15 units. It does actually make the butcher better. And this is like 7 or... 7 or 8, right? With a 50% buff. It is actually better. Oh god. <laughs> Do I want to go for this, or do I want to also go for better yield on the farm? Because these two are not bad. I'm leaning towards this or this. It's really better than three stars. Yeah, it's better than a three star. They want you to butch. They want to butcher you. You butcher them. Eleven minutes is like meh, and you can do ten amber and do the events. Would not go for the third. You wouldn't. And then you need 10 amber and do the vents. 
I mean, I have to... I Okay, so if I do the events... I'd have to do the events... I'd have to sell enough stuff to do the events, right? Oh, man. I don't know if I want to lose... I want to break my winning streak right now. I'm currently at 13. Safe play is the way. With foxes, I would I would risk it. Without them, I'd say no. Right now, I don't have any foxes. Yeah, I don't have any foxes. 11 minutes. Well, definitely I'm taking this. There's no question on that. Alright, I'm gonna take... I want... Uh. I'm gonna hold off on that pick. Let me think here. Safe play. Last run was 25 seconds before the timer. <laughs> yeah, last run was actually pretty close. No, actually, last game, I was one second off from the... From the timer. Remember I failed that. I failed that one game. It was it was actually one second or two seconds. When I had tried to go for the. The three. The three. Um, the three dangerous. Whoops wrong reply. Well he took it later. It was like year one order. Yeah. Hey thanks for the, the gifts of the. I'm thinking, guys. I am actually thinking about this. Because if I do this, I just knock out this and this right away, right? Blood Mass is on a spree? Yeah, he is. He's actually now number one for gift sub. Beat Tengoja by one. All right, let me think here. I mean, the closest one is this guy, right? And this guy. I mean, I could chop that in before he leaves. I could technically chop him before, before he leaves. Let me think about that. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still actually considering this, guys. Let me think here. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? What is the worst that can happen? What is the worst that can happen? I in here. I give up. I guess I can give up that, right? Uh, yeah, let's give up this. What else can I use? I'm gonna get oil just in case. I'm just gonna get oil just in case I need it. I'm okay with this. Huh. I'm playing in here. Can I use more of? Money, right? Maybe more Brit or planks. It's close, right? I don't know. Alright, that's reasonable, right? I'm gonna trade I'm gonna just commit to this trade. So I have oil. What, what else? What's the worst can happen? Uh, try open first one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's try. It shouldn't be too bad, right, guys? Shouldn't be too bad. Hmm. I don't need this. I don't need this priority anymore. Because we don't... Yeah, I don't need that as a priority anymore. Um, That one I need a priority to build, right? And you're working on that. And you're working on my thing. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. 11 seconds. Let's do this. I'm taking it. Come on, guys.
Check the orders too. Check the others? Oh, hmm. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, I might... Okay, hang on. I don't want to decide on that one because that might actually help me. That might actually help me. Do you have parts or pipes? No, right? You don't have any pipes. I've installed one rain engine. I'm thinking here. Because I might need the fabric for some reason, right? I don't know. Or I might need the... The stuff on the right for some reason. I can call the trader back for pipes, right? So I don't want to... I, I think that's the most I'm going to do. What's the one? Okay, this is the pipe. Install four pipes. Right? If I need this for some reason to solve something, I might want the trader to come back and get me some pipes. Install the pipes. Boom. I get this. Solve. Boom. That I get that as a second solve, right? Or I might need the, one of these. And rush this because harpies is not too hard so i'm not gonna open that one just yet jesus christ what do we have here cauldron cauldron not terribly bad. Doable. Doable. Very doable. In seven minutes, right? Okay, doable, doable. That's food production speed, right? Yeah, you know what? I'll spend that. That's very doable. Alright, next one. Next one. here that's the only food right I can get that in what 10 minutes yeah that's easy I need the workers though hang on what was the other one please be easy please be easy <laughs> please be easy Please be easy. Please be easy. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Res oh, I need resin. Can I get greedy? Can I be greedy? Can I be greedy? Three. I need resins, right? Oh, thank God. Three resins? Hello. Is, okay. Uh, oh, hello. I have five, right? I need two more resins, huh? I mean, I have the oil. I just don't... I, just don't, I don't know if I want to use the oil. I just want to get the resins. Come on, give me resins. I need two more. Oh, there's one. All right, I'm going to start. I'm thinking here. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. I need um three. There's three there, right? It's 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. We got it. Boom. Okay, hang on. The reason I switched that out is so they can carry it faster. I'm 
I'm putting it there so that way they can deliver it faster. Coffee break, you and your coffee breaks. You and your coffee breaks. Here we go. Somebody's gonna die. Human scout died. Damn it. Alright, there's one less house to worry about. So let me take this off. Alright, there's one less house to worry about. And then this one over here. Okay, this is what? How many minutes? Six minutes, right? I got nine minutes? Okay, okay. Coffee breaks. Oh, come on. You guys are all on these coffee breaks. Might not have food, though. That's my problem right now. We have no one working on this. I think we're going to have a food problem next. Food is going to be a problem, guys. Unless these guys hurry with their bit. That's, that's resins there, right? And that's the coal. Let me take this off. Come on. There you go. Six minutes, right? How much wood do I have? All right, I do have a lot of wood. Uh, one minute, one minute. Okay, yeah, uh, you are a harvester. I don't care about you. I do want to get a house here next. That is high priority. Harvester's camp, herbalist camp, okay. Jesus Christ, I don't know if I'm going to get food in, in time. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> we might not last. I don't know. I gotta get... I gotta get that farm going. I'm scared. Alright, let's move to the next one. I'm thinking here. Alright, the left is fine. Coat 35 times. I'm gonna take this. Better choice between the two. And I'm gonna let you guys do it. Use it, use it. Okay. Come on. Who do? Who do you love? Who do? It's like five minutes, right? Yep. And then you are five minutes. Nice. Oh, man. We're doing so good. Just give me some food there and we'll be fine. Oh, I had I had a harvester's camp there, huh, for some reason. Alright, everyone is working. Woof! This is 
That gamble there. Oh my god. That gamble. <laughs> the food is slow. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and favor you because you're at least going to give me something, right? Oh god, I ran out of the green water. I need blue water, or yellow water before all this is over. Yeah, food almost done, you good? Yeah, well, I've only got two pieces left, so I don't know. that. I'm gonna let them eat it. Whoever that's gonna eat that. Do I have any food anywhere else? No, right? The kiln? Do I have eggs in that one? No, right? Oh, somebody just ate. Somebody's getting... Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, you get out. You don't need to be there. Just in time? Yeah, I know, right? Just in time, I know. Alright, yeah, you can do whatever. Alright, do whatever you need. Oof, I'm scared. I was, I'm at the edge of my seat and I'm like, oh god. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work out? All right, what do we have here? I guess I'll take this off, right? 11. Or one is minus eight, I think. Yep, all right, I knew it. One was minus eight. Kinda knew that. He's got a little bit of time, right? Nice. All right. How's everybody coming? How's everybody coming? I need a buffer, right? Oh, thank God. Okay, time order's done. Bam. I'll, I'll, I'll stall that. It's two minutes, right? I don't have to turn it right away. I'm gonna stall that. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be just fine. We're gonna be just fine. All right, we're we're gonna be just fine. All right, lost force anger, right? What was the reward on the left? I can't remember, guys. What was that reward on the left? We got that, and we what? What else did we get? What was the one on the left? 
Does anyone remember? Food stock and something something. Oil? Flame? Flame, right? Two flames? Pottery? I forgot to check whatever it was on the left and I think it was tools, right? I think we got six tools as well. There we go, 11, right? There we go, okay. Okay, all right, that wasn't terribly bad, right? It was painless. <laughs> all right, we need a buffer. We need to remove this. Oof, God, that was so, so scary. All right, I'm gonna go with plantation. Cause then we can have biscuits material, right? I think that's the best choice. Bakery, right? Uh, now I just need flour and we're good. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. We got a, we got a butcher, right? We got a butcher, yeah, nice. We can do some skewers. Very nice. With the 50, yeah, plus 50%. I need this, right? Next year is gonna be rough. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, I managed to get that. I can't believe it. I managed to get it. Three levels of standings? No. Filling dish. Nice. I'm taking that one. I got nothing for you. Oh, wait. Pipes, right? Do you want pipes? Hang, hang on. Do we have any... Any water holes? <clears throat> Which one was this? Human home. Why is this haunted? Oh, it can house six. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, the resin's on the left. Interesting. All right, well, okay, so I don't think we're brick starved, right? Slightly, maybe. Um, okay, all right, what else? Let's open this up. All right, so we have a plantation. That's gonna help me. That's not gonna help me because we don't have a ranch. 10 villagers, yeah, that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the one on the right. Oh. Three ruins. Oh, I don't know if I want to open up another one, guys. There's one there. I don't know about opening another one. I should probably play it safe. Go with the left. I've already I've already done risky. I think I I don't wanna go too crazy. It's better to play it safe. I once purified brewery at, at had all three stars. Oh yeah, purified brewery is really nice. All right, I need more workers. Who do I need? I guess I'll go with the left, right? Extra lizards, and then two harpies. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go with that. That way we... get that one going there. 
Flawless rain mill pack of building materials. Oh, nice. I'm awaiting here. Oh, yeah, you want the farming ex explanation because you were in the middle of watching my VOD. Okay. So with a farming plot here, by the way, Freedom, this one right here has 11. Okay, so with farming, um, I generally have two farm buildings. And one of the things about farming is, first of all, if you if you watch the, the farmers do their thing, if you can see that they finish out, you might not need the second building, okay? So that's, I, I don't want to say that you do need the second building, but the reason for the second building, I'll explain to you in a little bit. So the first part here is that uh, you want to take into account the distance from your farm to your warehouse during the, during the uh, drizzle season is when they do the planting, okay? Uh, if they can fill up all six plots, or sorry, all 11 plots, right? Because they'll say like sowed field and plowed field. Plowed field means it's buffed. So during the storm season, they will buff the fields, right? And plowed means it's buffed. You'll get like an ch extra chance of getting more yield when it's buffed. So that's plowed. Now sowing... Actually, no. Is it, so is it sowed field is... Are they actually sowing? I think this is... Okay, yeah, yeah. They're, they're currently working on it. So one is already being sowed. One's already sowed. And they're currently working on sowing the other two. That's why you see three icons here. So the four is the buff. Right, so if I let go... Right, so now it's three, right? These guys completed their little wheel spin. So now we have three actually sowed fields. So if you watch and make sure that at the end of the drizzle season, you have all 11. That means you have enough workers to complete this whole field. Now, on the clearance season is when they harvest, and harvest obviously requires them to do the same thing, spin the wheel, and then they bring their goods back to the the internal storage. Now, when this fills up, they actually have to deliver it back to the warehouse. So you have to factor in the time that it takes for them to deliver to the warehouse, and then they have to come back, and then they continue harvesting. So if you don't actually get all of your crops harvested at the end of your clearance season, that means you, you're you lacking manpower, right? Or you need to increase your efficiency by moving the warehouse or creating a warehouse right next door. For example, like you could set up like a warehouse like right here or something, right? So that way they deliver it to the warehouse and back and then they can go back and resume harvesting, right? So if you don't, if you don't have... Uh, all your farm plots cleared then that means you need an extra worker or you need to move your warehouse closer those are the things that you can manipulate to improve your farming efficiency right now if you don't have enough workers to finish all this right then you can just add another another farm here right and then that way the trip back and forth and the extra worker here could probably take care of the rest of the the harvest right now even if you have like all the workers filled up and you want to minimize the number of workers then you can stick in like a warehouse next door and then that way you can take off a worker to minimize the whole farming thing does that make sense i don't know that hopefully you you got that part right so for example over here this is way way far from my my warehouse right so in this case i would most likely want to build a warehouse here somewhere right somewhere and then that way you can plan your whole plotting there by just watching the whole now since i play this game a lot i generally kind of have a rough idea that i know this is going to be needing three workers based on the distance from here to here right it's it's just a matter of experience there's no like magic f formula that i can say i mean some people will say like oh you need three for 11 or whatever it is, but that also depends on distance between this and, and the warehouse, right? It might, if you have a warehouse across the street, I think a two should be fine. Uh, but you also have to factor in like, if your your farm increases in efficiency in terms of like um, extra crop yields, right? So if this six goes to seven or eight or nine or 10 or 11, right? You definitely want to start adding more workers. That's what you're looking, you're after? Right, so yeah, all right. I'm glad I can help you understand that. Yeah, so a lot, okay, yeah. So I thought you got one, one soil farm and you need to do more than one type of building and they share it. 
Yeah, you can... Okay, so the sharing part, right? So, I'm going to take this out, actually. The sharing part, it doesn't really matter. Uh, ba basically, this is a first come, first serve. Right? It's all, all the second farm does is gives you an additional recipe option. Right? Technically. So, think of the second plantation as the farm. The only difference is it gives you a different different recipe option and the same thing goes is that you know if there's a worker here it's a first come first serve so if this guy over here finds an empty spot he'll do his berries right so if you have two more workers here you're going to get like a two to one ratio right and this is one if one's in here and then two's over here it's basically a two to one ratio right it's just basically whoever gets there first will place down the the crop so you can share if you want to that so a common mistake a lot of new players have when they first play the game is they always think that they only need one farm for one patch and they, they build another farm for another patch and they're like, oh my God, I got to go out and find another farm full of soil because I have like an herb garden and I need to make use of my herb garden somewhere else, right? And that's not true. You can actually do all three farm buildings on the same patch. I got that totally. Yeah. All right. So cool. Uh, four soils should take two minutes, so each of these seasons is roughly three minutes. The workers are idle a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For their food break time. Yep. Alright, so aesthetics. I need to get... Two of these. To complete the aesthetic stuff. All right, so then you need to start working on this. And then you need to start chopping more trees. Then you, you're working on that one, right? Oh, man. I need more workers. I don't think I got... Yeah, I definitely need more workers. All right, so that's almost done. So we can get that easily. That's almost done. We can get that one, right? Oh, no, no. It's this one, this one, this one. That's the aesthetics one. Hmm. Okay, she's planting two, right? There's two left. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'll leave it. Alright, so it's usually in the planting, the clearance or the drizzle seasons where you fill this up really quickly. It's the harvest seasons where you actually need manpower. So one of the things that you can do is you can also take people off, right? Which I, I do. And then during the clearance season, you throw in the other guy in there. To help out with with clearing this up and then during the storm you can take probably like all the moth up for one worker because it takes only one worker to buff the entire field of eight or whatever or a lot sorry 11 or or 11 to 15 but if you have like multiple fields next to each other then yeah you you also want to factor that in All right, so we're okay right now, right? Everything's everything's going okay. Everything's going our way. So I'm pretty pretty happy about that. Everything's going to be okay. Butcher here. Hmm. I don't need the butcher right away, right? Yeah, I don't need the butcher right away. Yeah, we should be fine. Um, I do need... I do need that going up, right? The 20... Like in here. And yellow water's fine. How are you doing? Okay. 
Trinity. The aesthetics thing is... Okay, need fulfilled. Alright, hmm. Do I want to turn that in now or later? I mean, I'm not building the fabric yet. I'll wait until the fabric is done. Yeah, I don't need the fabric right away. I'm gonna need- I'm gonna turn this in first. This one I can turn in at any point in time, right? Yeah, I'm gonna turn this one in first. Actually, I don't have to unless I need to. Yeah, yeah, I'll turn this one in first because that way I get that right away. Um, and I'll leave that alone unless I start needing this. Okay, so... This one can be decompleted if I delete the thing. This can be decompleted. This one cannot. When it says done, it, it will not get decompleted. Only the aesthetics will cause it to decomplete. Oh yeah, I know. That part, yeah, I know about that one. That one is... Crazy. Where's my other humans? A rain collector. There we go. So, yeah. Crazy. 14. 14 should be fine, right? Alright, 14 should be fine. I'm gonna burn this until this goes up. Take this off. Hunger? Oh shit. Hunger? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Do I have food? I don't have food in any of those, right? The hunger stack is already kicking in. All right, how many is left? There's four. All right, you, you start cooking. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'll let them, I don't know if I want them to eat the, I don't know if I want them to eat the, the ins, I know, I got it, I know that. <laughs> I'm deciding whether I want them to eat it raw or do I want to try to cook it for the proc chance. All right, six. Mm. I think I'm not gonna let them. I mean, uh, the the lizards can tank that. I'm aware of that. I mean, it's the the foxes are the ones that can't. Yeah, it's the fox is the one that can't do it normally. I should be fine. I should be fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna help, right? Okay, I should be fine. Should be fine. Hmm. I think he's tanking the hunger, right? Yeah, he's tanking the hunger. Shoot. Should be fine. Should be fine. What is this? This is under 50, right? It's 52. 
We'll worry about it once the time comes. Ugh, fabric. Shit, fabric. Um. Hang on, let me add this in here too. How, how is this coming? 11, right? Yeah, 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 we got it. Shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, thank you for that follow there. Appreciate that. You know what? We're going to do this. Should be fine. Should be fine. What about the garden? What about the garden? I'm not worried about the garden. Farm too far away? What about this? What are you talking about? I'm not... I, I don't know what you're trying to tell me, Mr. Libanez. This town looks like... Oh, you build a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's... there's These over here, that's not... I'm not worried about that right now. I'm kind of worried about this. I'm trying to figure out the hunger problem. Oh boy. I think that's my e the end of my juggle there, right? All right, we should be fine now. We should be fine. We should be fine as long as I start eating. There we go. Nice. Nice. Done. You got it. You got it. No, 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 no. Not the coffee break chick. Alright, we got it. There we go. Easy peasy. Sucks, right? Where's my other harpy? Field kitchen? Now, the only thing I might be worried about is the... This here, right? Poppin'. Not the coffee break chick, right? I know, right? <laughs> the chick that's going on coffee break. Alright, you can... You can do this. That's fine. Bam! You're done. Oh, coffee break, chick. Oh, come on. What is this? Oh, boy. Take this off. I don't need that there. All right. We, we can probably put somebody on this right now. Let's go ahead and go with this. I don't want to be in that situation again. Oh, actually, we have 66 of this, so I don't think that's an issue. Not an issue. Non-issue. We got like what, 14? Oh, I need one more worker. One more worker. All right, let me go ahead and set up the crude station then. We might need that crude station. You know what, I probably don't need this, right? Well, I actually gotta leave that. I need to turn in the aesthetics later. All right, so everything is Ichi. It's a good town. Rain collector. Yeah, it's a good town. There we go. Your one garden next to a small farm is too far from your hearth? It doesn't matter right now, but yeah, you're right. That is... It's a, it's a park, but yeah, it doesn't matter. But you're right. It is out of bounds. But it's not... It didn't affect it because I, I, was, I was missing a guy anyways. Oh! 
Farm garden. I think you meant park, right? Park. I think you meant park. I understand what you're saying now, Mr. Mr. Libanez. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he meant the park. The park that was sitting over here was out of bounds. But it didn't really matter. It didn't affect us. But thank you for pointing that out. I think, yeah, he meant park instead of garden. But now I understand what he meant now. I was like, garden? What are you talking about? It was there before I built the second one? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I built the second one inside the range. Oh, yes, yes. You're right. You're right. I did build it right there. I forgot to move it in. No wonder I wasn't getting that plus two resolve. Okay. I, I get you now. Thank you for pointing that out. All right. Well, are we ever going to open anything? Probably not, right? But I'm going to look that I like knowledge. And plus, killing off people is going to help me anyways, because I do plan on killing people off. The ancient pack does not get penalized for the small glades. Oh, hey, there's drizzle water in this one. I might go for that one. And kill off a guy. Small caravan. Well, the Forsaken Crypt is not bad. It's actually... Let me... Well, hang on. I actually have a... A spreadsheet... Or not a spreadsheet, but a little info sheet that I made. I want to know what the Forsaken Crypt is on the left... The right side. Right, the, the right side should be easy. The left side choice is probably the hard one. Forsaken Crypt. Alright, so Forsaken Crypt on the left... Requires 15... 30 planks, 15 fabric, or 15 bricks. It, it's the uh, working effect. The one on the right requires 6 bars of anything... Or 15 coins. And then it's... Uh, 30 beer, 30 wine, 30... 30 incense, 30 cosmetics, or 30... 30 scrolls. Forsaken Crypt. Well, the Forsaken Crypt, the one on the right, actually might be easier. Um, destroyed, destroyed Caravan is probably easier to do. There's two caches in there. There's only one in here. I think I might actually go for this one because I... Cause that I get, I think that pays out like point one. I think that pays out like point, or sorry, point five rep, right? It's a small. Yeah, it's point five on the other one, so this is actually point five rep. Uh, losing people every time you open map fields. No, no, no. It. I only lose people on the large ones, not the small ones. The ancient, the mist piercer. You, you get hit with point five impatience for every glade. Oh. Tool shop, huh? That's gonna be handy. Form there. Tool shop. That that really helps a lot. I won't have to open anything. Cellar there. Warehouse, eh. Eh. Haunted small farm, right? Hmm. That might not be bad either. Haunted small farm. But that's really far out, though. I don't know if I want to go that far. Yeah, it might be too far out. Apothecary. That might be far out, too. Better biscuits. Ooh. Oh, haunted Brewery. Fema was just talking about Haunted Brewery. You get Stone Tooth, too. Hmm. Now, that one requires 15 tools. Or parts, right? I think it's tools or parts. Yeah. Sorry, 12 tools, 9 parts, or 30 pipes. We should be able to get to that one. I'm very interested in that one. I think we're gonna... You know what? We're gonna go through this drizzle water to get this guy here. I might not need this drizzle water at all. Yeah, I don't need this drizzle water. I don't need that drizzle water. Alright, so we go this one for the drizzle water. We go this one for the termite. There's a blue water there. I actually might go for the blue water. 
Yeah, I might actually go for this blue water. There's soil right here, too. Wow. Oh, yeah, well, that, the soil was there the whole entire time because we actually got that free peak. Ancient shrine, don't need. Destroyed care. Uh, war beast, no. Brick oven is not bad. Oh, but that's war beast. No, I don't want that. Don't want war beast. Fuming machine, not too crazy about. Okay, so the tool shop is definitely something I'm interested in. And I'm interested in this. And we're going to go for this one. I'm okay with that. Um, so the names of the dangerous glaze have always the same resources needs. Yeah, it has similar. Yeah, it always has the same needs. Worth to make notepad with lots of them. Yes, freedom. That is correct. Uh, pre prestige 20 losing people generates impatience, right? So when you lose people, this impatient goes up by 0 0.8. And the reason for that is I get an extra 5.5. Normally it gets you a hit of 0.3 if you're not playing the prestige 20. But at Prestige 20, you get hit with an additional 0.5, right? No need to make the those into encyclopedia entries. No need to make those. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully they can add those as, as encyclopedia entries, right? Add another thing for, like, events. That would be very useful if they put that in there. Yeah, I mean, need to make developers put them in there. Yes, I mean, that's a very good suggestion, and you guys should really post about that. And I'll try to talk to them next week. Uh, one of them is out on on vacation right now and won't be back till next week. So I'll talk to them, see if that's something they can add into the to the UI improvements for tutorial. Um, unless you get the queen's queen doesn't need to know cornerstone, right? So if you have like a hidden from the queen, it's called hidden from the queen. Uh, it, it's called queen does not need to know. So if you lose people this bar doesn't move right now i have this so I'm, I'm okay with killing a couple of people off right and then moving this bar this way but at least my patience will drop all right so let's take a look here what else do you have for me nothing interesting i might need some pipes right I might need some pipes. Interesting. Do I need anything else? No, right? I need... Oh, I do need tools. So the... The Stone Tooth Marrow... Sorry, the Stone Tooth Termite needs tools. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Monastery. Oh. Oh, interesting. I don't know. Well, that's not going to happen right now. I don't... I don't think I can. Let's see here. I might. Let's see. How much is this worth? 22. Yeah, I don't think I can. That's not happening. Hang on. What? How, how many... How many... How many minutes? Six minutes and 30 seconds? Is that even worth it? I have to pay 70 to get all of this, right? Is that even Okay, that's 14 parts is worth how much? If I dump all of this, that's worth 9.52. We dump all of this worth 32. I get 20 coins from the other chest. If I can get tools somehow, well. I don't think I can make the tools fast enough, though. Alright. I get 20. That's 50. I need to come up with, with another batch. Yeah, I need to come up with another batch. What are you, what are you bringing me? Like in here. The one on the right is less people, right? You cannot do 70 amber, but you can. You have bakery and, and all pie eating. Alright, yeah. I mean, I have jerky eaters, not pie eaters, right? 
I, I know I can't do that, but I turn this in, I get five more. Here's the deal. I'm getting 14. So I can dump all my parts. I turn this in, I can dump this, right? With a, yeah, with a butcher, that's going to be amazing, right? Now the problem here is I need four more tools to get this 20 coins. Oh god. What's the time limit on this one? Two minutes, three minutes. That's 24, that's 30 coins, but... How can I sell anything off of this? If I go with the left, I let's see here. What's nine worth? What's nine worth? That's like ten, right? Eleven. Hmm. Eleven. It's actually worth more than. Well, it's close. It's not more, but it's close. Oh, but I don't have. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. No shit. I don't have any stones. I'm thinking here. All right, so let's say eight and five. Five is worth how much? It's roughly six. And this is roughly 10, say, because I can always dump some of this, or some of this, right? Or I can dump my parts. Ooh, I can maybe dump my parts. All right, so like, let's say I get six, right? Additional six. That's 40. Plus a 6, right? Plus the 6. That's 40, 46. Ugh. 46. Dang, I don't know here. I don't think I can do that. I can turn that in and sell Essence, right? I don't know here. If I dump that, turn in the essence. Fabric is worth how much? How much are the... How much are the provisions worth? Because that, over time... I don't know if it's worth 70 coins, though, guys. I don't think it's worth 70 coins. It's all it's an all-in move. Yeah, it's an all-in move. I don't want to sell the I don't want to sell all all of the oh, Hang on. I need I need to keep one, right? Because I can do this. Three, four, five, I can keep one. So let's say I can do five. You're right. I can I can sell five. You're right. I can sell all of this. I'll get six. I'll sell all of this. Sell all of this. That's forty-five plus oh, that's forty-six plus a six. Uh, that's 52. I'm still short, guys. 52. How, how short am I? 52 from 70. That's 18. I don't think he buys fabrics, though. He doesn't buy fabric. I mean, I could call another trader back and sell what whatever my other junk is, right? What are you bringing me? Yeah, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I'm, I'm 18 short. I'd have to come up with this somehow. Attack him? <laughs> I don't know about that. Attack him, I'd get 40, right? Well, first of all, I dump this, but then I attack him, I lose... I'm only getting the remaining amount. I don't think attacking him is worth it. Well, hang on. I can't even get 70, right? I can only get 40 at most. I only get 40 at most. So that does It doesn't matter how much I sell. I can't get more than 40 off of him. I'd have to come up with the other 70 externally. Yeah, I can't attack me a new trader. You need more than 70. NPC wants bigger values than he gives. The upgrade is reduced. Right, yeah, yeah. So look, I, I, even if I wanted to, I can't get more than 70. 
Alright. I'd have to, like, somehow magically get this. On hand. And how many minutes do I have for this? Six minutes and 30 seconds? I don't think I can do that in six minutes, 30 seconds, guys. There's no way. Corruption. Small caravan. Those don't give me much. Yeah, all right. I'm going to have to abandon the idea. I do need money to open glades, though. I do need money to open glades. Okay, let's go ahead and get... I need, I need four for the butcher. All right, four for the butcher. Already got four on the kiln, right? Oh, the carpenter needs some. So well, that's set. Um, so I need six for the drizzle water, and four for the butcher, or four for the butcher, right? So that is eight. I need eight of these. Okay. Oh hell, let me just get the rest. I might end up needing it. Oh wait, no, I need to open I need to open glades too. Let's take care of one thing at a time. Alright, that's an even Steven. Yeah. Nice. Easy trade. Boom. Alright. That's not terribly bad. Alright, I gotta get my butcher up and running though. Yeah, I gotta get my butcher up and running. Where do I want my butcher though? I'll stick you in across the street from this. And then what is this? That's the cornerstone. Yeah, stick that over there. I don't really care about that too much. Alright, so the butcher goes in here. I'm okay with that. Oh, I need... Oh, okay, I did buy all of it anyways. Um, What does the butcher need? No, okay, I'm fine with that, right? Butcher needs three. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Uh, Yeah, I don't think I can take that on. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna not take this. And then I have to decide between this and this, right? Oh, I could kind of get that out of the way, right? Hang on, let's see. How much is this going to cost me? 27? No, that's not going to happen. Not right now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and unpause that. And then who do I want? I want less people, right? Yeah, I want less people. Let's go with the right. All right, so Harpy House. I need a Harpy House, right? And I need a Lizard House. All right, let me stick this here for now. I'll figure that out later. And then this is the porridge making, right? Or right, what else do I need? I need planks, right? I need woodcutters? Yeah, I do kind of need more woodcutters, don't I? Alright, let's go with that. Uh, you can start working your way up the prestige uh, track quite fast. I want less people. Just wait 10 minutes from now, Ron, when it says I need more people. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do kind of say that every now and then, right? I have problems at Viceroid at the moment. It's not bad at Viceroid. I actually did a my first town after the tutorial on Viceroid. Once you understand the game mechanics freedom, you can actually do Viceroid really easily. Alright, so I need blue water, right? I think I need blue water more than I need green water, but... I need both of these. 
Hang on, is there a blue water? Okay, that one I'm gonna go. No, wait, it's this one I'm gonna go into, right? The tool shop. Well, I don't need to go in there right away. Because I do have a way to make tools. Right? I only need one more tool to do the termite. Yeah, I need one more tool to do, to do the termite. Alright, and then you've done Passion for four more games? Uh, I have a problem with Viceroy. I lose for five hours, don't progress. Yeah, I've seen it, and then I've done uh, Pioneer for four more games. It's not a bad idea to, like, you know, do some of these early runs. Um, so you get some experience buildup if you can't get to it, you know what I mean? Oh, I did. Oh, yeah, you 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 watched my videos. Right, right. I started doing Pioneer right after my first Viceroy. I actually didn't win my first Viceroy game. But off stream, I recently did off stream and I actually won my Viceroy as my first town. The Viceroy in my Let's Play VOD, I lost that game, but I walked away with a lot of resources. So that did actually work out for me. Oh, she ran out of the, her coats, right? She needs jerky now. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, there we go. Oh wait, lizards. Hang on. Let me take this off. Let me take that off. Well, actually, no. Yeah, there we go. Let me take that off. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Skewer's right. We have one skewer eater. Alright, so I gotta put in another human there later. Alright, we're, we're fine on that one, right? Yep. Alright, so everything's fine for now. I need to get in the drizzle water. To get that going, right? I mean, the kiln is also kind of important, but let me think here. Um, all right, I need to clear this out to get some space. And then you need 25 on that one? Yeah. All right, where's my other human? Help out with that. Okay. Harpy. Damn it. I think my... Yeah, okay. Harpy needs jerky food. And then another house. Alright, I think I'm gonna probably take this now. So that way I can get that move in here. So I can get this Harpy house going. All right, how many people do I have here? It's 14, right? And then... Rex. Let me move this out here. I need to get a lizard house in here. Perfect. There we go. Once that harpy house kicks in, I get another point. Then I need to get jerky eating. Wow, look at that. Man, had I won had I gotten that time order, that's like plus twenty, right? Jeez. Okay, this is not gonna be hard, right? I just need six more harpies. Yeah, I just need six more harpies. Of course, Ron would figure it out. So I guess there are some strats to learn from. Uh, that would be rough, I suppose. Of course, Ron would figure it out. Yeah, I figured out how to do the vice word early. It's not, it's not bad. It's, it is very manageable. I was thinking of like starting up a second exclusive YouTube video only to do like a new profile. I talked about it the other day too, or last week about doing like a new profile 
where I would just see how far I can go as a challenge, where I take only the highest difficulty I'm available, so that's available to me, win or lose. Um, if I hit a brick wall where I, I, where if I lose, but I don't make any progress towards my Citadel upgrade, it either has to be uh, an upgrade of some sort, either experience points or I guess resources that upgrades something on the Citadel. If it doesn't upgrade on anything on the Citadel, then that's where I would end my run. So I thought about doing that as a challenge to make it interesting. I would love to watch that too. Oh yeah, you want to watch that? I would love to learn from that. Yeah, a lot of people want to see that. So, I mean, right now I'm just doing this because I want to get my win streak up again. Because there's this guy in the forum that says it's impossible to get like 20 consecutive wins on P20, which I've done this multiple times already. And I just want to have a have a counter track doing like another P20. So I guess once I hit P 20 consecutive wins on this, I'll start up the other profile and do that other profile. Um, and see how that one goes. Yeah, I actually was looking for Viceroy Fresh Start on YouTube and didn't find it and it ended up with your channel. Oh, hey, okay, thank you for that. Mr. or the the mirror. Thank you for that follow there, by the way. I appreciate that. Oh, the jerky eating is in play, right? Where are all my lizards at? Woodcutters? There you go. Alright, everyone's happy again. Oh! Hostility level 2, so I can't get woodcutting. So if I chop trees at level 2, they basically fall apart. So I can't do that anyways. Well, that stinks. I need to kill somebody off. Hmm. Yeah, I need to kill somebody off. Thanks for the educational stream. It's time for me to sleep. Yeah, no worries. Thank you for that. For hanging out today. Good night. Yeah. Thank you for the follow and thank you for hanging out. Um, Alright, so I'm eventually going to need to get that for this, right? Alright. Alright, I don't need you there, actually. Probably put you in here. Alright, that's fair, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and put another one in here, then. Yeah, I can't chop trees because of this. That one I need to remove. Yeah, see how I'm, I'm just totally managing just one farm? I actually don't need multiple farms. Kind of funny, right? How many is this? One, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, actually, I'll, I'll know once I place this down. It's 15. How's this, how many is this on the side? 11. Well, technically 12, 13, 14, right? 14. Okay, it's probably better to go here. I need to get that one out of the way. Let me move you back over here. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, alright, let me see here. I'm, I, I'm gonna need a hearth anyways. Alright, that fits right there actually, perfectly. Nice, I'll go with that. Oh, we're playing with frost. That's why my radius is small. Jesus. I just realized that. That's my that's why my radius is so small. I'm like, why is it so small? Like normally it goes all the way out there. Yeah, this is gonna be yeah, you are doing okay with one farm and I have constant food problems in my games. Yeah. I only need one farm plot plot. A lot of people don't realize, you know, you can just get away with one small farm. One is enough. All right, hang on. 
What else do I have? Alright, let me take this guy off. I don't think he's gonna help me anymore. Oh, he's he can make skewers, right? Oh yeah, I guess he is making skewers. Okay, that's fine, it's fair. That's fair. And you're making me porridge, right? Actually, hang on. There, that's fine. You're on this one, right? Let me take you off, put you on this one. Uh, let me take you guys off. Put you on that one. And you're just buffing, right? You're just taking a coffee break. Jesus. I guess I'll leave the coffee break chick there. That's fine. Alright, what do you got for me? Clan hall? Smelter bars. Hmm. Do I need bars? I don't see any stones, so I can't get copper. I can't get copper! Bricks? Like over there. There's no bricks in that one. There's no bricks. Or clay, I mean clay. Clay gets me copper. I mean, clay, clay's in that one, but I'm not going to open that one. There's no clay in that one either. Smelter's not going to help me. Yeah, the smelter's not going to help me. Well, there's clay there. But I don't know if I'm going to go in that one or not. Well, actually, there's a lot of clay in there. I actually might go in there. Yeah, I actually might go in there. Because I have no... No other... Clay source. I'm gonna be brick-starved. Yeah, the big sea marrow also is very good. Yeah, so I think I might go into this one. I might skip out on that one, by go and I go this way, and then this way. Right, cause the drizzle water. I'm I'm gonna get drizzle water, so I gotta go there. Right, so that one I I guess I'm gonna do right, cause that's a lot of clay. Well, I mean, there's a small patch there, but I think that is the best bet, right? Two large patch and three small, and the sea marrow, and two abandoned cash. I think that's a really good deal in there. I mean, that one's not bad, too. It's got, like, one small cache, but... The tool workshop. I might come back to that if I need the tools. I don't think I want to go into this one just yet. I mean, I don't have a food problem. But the haunted brewery and the termite is something I do want. I don't have a food problem right now. But we do have jerky eaters, so that is something I do want. The only problem... Okay, so... The biggest problem is I took this perk and I can't chop trees during the storm. So that means I need to kill people off. That's the thing that kind of annoys me is by taking that perk. I forgot about this. Um, Alright, so I think my plan is I'll pop this for the blue water. I'm comparing the two here. Yeah, I'll pop that, go around this, go into here eventually. Get the green water from this. And get the clay there, because I'm brick starved right now. I can't make homes for humans, and I can't make homes for, for the lizards. And this is not going to last. But at least in the meantime, I could probably get some more, right? The flax over there could get me a little bit more bricks. All right, so the plan is I will open up this one here. Hello. Oh, well, damn. I don't really need the scout faster, honestly. There's no rush. 
Like there's, I, I know what's out there, so there's really no rush. I'm gonna go with the left. Cause now my farm is even better. Yeah, so my farm is now even better. 1% chance to proc tablet. Big C Merrill's is very good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need tablets, so I'm not worried about the tablet problem. I need a monastery, though. What do you got for me? Oh. Well, I need three, right? The tool thing is requires three. Shit. All right, I'm gonna go with the. I think I'm gonna go with the left, right? I'm like in here. Do I want to go with the left, or do I still want to go with the clan hall? I mean, the clan hall gets me double yield, right? Because I have a lot of stuff on the board. The clan hall gives me double double the mushrooms and double the flax double the clay and then it's also a service building i'm gonna take the service building yeah i'm gonna take the service building reba, reba. i'm gonna get a haunted brewery that's not gonna matter to me cookhouse eh already have something that does that all right, so there's nothing here I need off this guy, right? Yeah, I don't need anything off this guy. All right, that's fine. We're, we're okay. Let's go ahead and break through this. And I need to take it on people, right? Okay, four on the right, four on the left. Four on the right. This is even Steven, right? Yeah, let's go with the right. That evens out my numbers. All right, so that is fine. We'll go with that. And then... I need as much green water as possible. Let me see here. All right, you know what? I'm going to remove this. Put this here. And how much do I need? I need three more. I need a house, right? Yeah, that's not here. Do I have another bricks or no? I don't have enough bricks. I don't have enough. Yeah, I guess I do have enough of this. Okay. That should take care of her. Um, I don't need the flax. Let's turn this off. Let me turn all of this off. The reason for that is I'm, I need to use my plan hall to make use of it. All right, so the blue water here. I forgot to turn off that blue water. And then you're gonna use blue water, right? Yeah, blue water. Well, you're gonna eventually use blue water. All right, butcher, right? What was my other building? Bakery, right? I don't have a way to do flour yet, so the bakery is not going to help me. Alright, that's fine. What I need is then... bricks. How many? Okay, that's one, two, three, four, right? I got eight stones. Alright, so that should give me enough bricks for this. Alright, what else are you doing? Alright, see you later. Uh. 
Okay, where else? Where else? What else? This one, right? Alright, I'll put you on this then. Alright, please hurry. Please hurry. Alright, we don't need you there. What year is this? Year five, right? Eh, let's go up a little more, just in case. Yeah, let me move that there then. Clear all that out. I think I need to clear that out too, right? Eventually. Now this is human homes, right? I should just do this. Now, to get that out, that gets me three homes, right? You know what? Let's go ahead and do this now. Four minutes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that way we'll get six homes, right? Wow, perfect. Oh my god, that's awesome. Six human homes. I need to kill off people, though. Let me put you over here then. Get that blue water going. Alright, you're done, right? Alright, crank out that green water. Crank out that blue water. You're done. What are you working on? Four minutes, right? So we have four minutes in clearance. So that should be done before the... That should be done before the storm. Wow, porridge and skewers for days? <laughs> yeah, I do have a lot, don't I? I do have a lot. Where are my other guys? You can help out with that one then. Try to get that out of the way. Alright, so once that's done, I can move that into my thing. And get an amazing six homes for the humans. What I need now is bricks, right? I just need bricks. Jesus. And I need a warehouse over here somewhere eventually. I guess I'll, yeah, I'll need another warehouse here eventually. I'll stick it right here, I guess, for now. Well, yeah, it's there. really relatively close. I don't think that's going to be an issue. For all my humans. Two there, four there, three there. Rain Collector, Ancient Hearth. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Uh -huh. I think these guys should finish that one easily. There's only like three patches left. Yeah, there's only three patches left. You're almost done, right?
All right, let's speed this up. Blue waters it's set. Wait, what's happening to the? Oh, it's probably because of this. Yeah, it's because of that. All right. There we go. You're almost done though, right? Two minutes? Okay, hang on. So I need to get... Is that even in range? That's not in range, so I have to manually move it. Alright, what else? How much wood do I have? I guess I'll have to manually move them. Let me see here. Let me move eight people on this side. Let me think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll put it over here, right? Dang it. <laughs> eight on this side. Or no. Do I want it closer somewhere over here? I guess I'll stick it right here at the edge. I don't know. I'm blinking here. How do I want to place this guy? Or where do I want to place this guy? Sure. I'll stick him right here. I'm okay with that. And I'll delete this to transfer over, right? Oh, shit. One minute! How do I keep everyone happy for one minute? Thirty seconds. Ugh. Shit. We'll worry about that for now. Can I hold off for one minute and thirty seconds? Right. Sheesh. Looking bad here. Looking bad. Well, that's not even enough. Oh, shit. It's not even enough. Humans. But I didn't do this. Shit. Damn it, that's not enough, is it? Oh, come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I should have started this sooner. 40 seconds. No, God, I know. <laughs> I know. No, no. Why? Why do you stink? Thirty seconds. I can't believe I'm burning my coal for this. Oh, it just got worse. All right, I can stop burning this. Four, three, two, one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. There. Need one of these over here. Oh boy, that was that was intense. Craziness. Pog, yes, pog for sure. Oof, that was intense. Or at least we got six human homes, right? For free. Alright, well. Alright, what do we have now going? I need this, right? To get that plus. 
I need to get that plus two. I gotta kill off somebody, right? Shit. I'd like to kill off somebody. Can I get enough bricks for that? I don't have enough bricks. I need seven more bricks, right? Urgh. Where can I get bricks? Where can I get bricks? Five, six, seven now. All right, well, you know what? I, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. We don't need this right now, right? We don't need this for now. We don't need this for now. So that is going to be what? 11? I'm one off. Shit. I'm one off. Are you are you hiding anything in here? No. All right, no, it's okay. I think I have an idea. I have an idea. I still have some ideas. Harpies, right? Harpies is. God dang on harpies. These harpies are awful. They're just. They're always pissed. Look in here. How am I going to make these harpies happy? Hmm. All right. Well, we'll do this for now. We'll figure it out later. Because the lizards. Takes a while to deplete. Yeah, they're going to take a while to deplete anyways. I need to get 12 harpies total anyways. Hmm. Alright, I still need to figure out how to get kill people off. So... I need to get into that one, right? Yeah, I need to get into that one. Coffee breaks. Oh, nice. Thank you for that proc. Thank you for the proc. Hurry, hurry. Put that back. Uh, yeah. All right. Here we go. What do we got here? Oh. Ah. Well, that's gonna. Okay. I need to kill people off, right? So who do I want to kill off? All right. I guess we'll kill off two lizards. We'll take the tools. I know this is... This is only for discovering during the storm. If I can break through that during the storm, I get the 15 tools I need. Alright, that's 6 on that side that I'm missing, right? Oh, I'm missing 12 on that side. Shit. Alright, what we'll do is we'll go this way. There, so that's the eight on this side and eight on this side. That should help the lizards. Easy peasy for the lizards. And then you go away. We also got our hostility dropped by 50 points, which is not bad. Now you have meat from lizards. Do I have meat from lizards? No, I don't have meat from lizards. I didn't get cannibalism though. No cannibalism, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't I don't have cannibalism. I wish I did. <laughs> I wish I did. I know, right? No cannibalism, unfortunately. That's alright. That's alright. We're still good. 
All good, all good. Twelve, all right? Shit. I'm missing one. You know what? I'm not gonna have the warehouse there. I'd rather have the the clan hall. Yeah, I'd rather have the clan hall. All right, I need to break through this during the storm. Come on. Can I get through that? I don't think I can get through that in time. Jesus Christ. I don't think I can get there in time. Shit. Can't get there in time, unfortunately. Nope. Alright, I'll wait. I'll wait next turn. Alright, so I need four more on that side, right? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Back to nature. Oh, shit. It's too bad I can't sell my food. Oh, shit. Look at all that food that I have to give up, guys. Oh, let me think about that. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, I should be able to recover all of that. It does not remove the grains that's in my storage, right? No, it doesn't. I know. I know. I feel bad, right? It feels bad getting rid of the 4195 porridge. But I think that long term, I'm going to be swimming in food from the... Oh, I have 234 grains. That's not going to disappear. So that's not bad, actually. I'm going to be swimming in food. I don't know if it's a good idea to give that up now, though. But my my field here, I'm going to get double that amount. And I actually won't ever have to, like, use these other patches. It's less workers, too. The one on the right is bad, right? The one on the right is very bad. I'm tempted with the one on the left, cooked and raw. Shit, so I want the left. It's gonna take a while to ramp up the porridge again, huh? Okay, losing the... The berries, not a big deal. Losing the six insects, not a big deal. The skewers, kind of a big deal. Do I want the left or right? I mean, I'm already swimming in food. I don't think I should do that. I'm already swimming in the berries and... Not berries, but the grain, right? A little greedy, I think. <laughs> it, it, I mean... I mean, I could get... I could get more berries, right? Berries will be produced faster. I get like 12. Right? Like each... each I mean, I double basically my output. And then this guy here uses berries too, right? I mean, over time, he's going to use berries to get the grill. I think first, yeah, I got to give it, I got to give it up. Right? I definitely need to give it up. All right, it's too bad this guy is not buying any. Okay, I guess I can buy the shrimps. I can sell the berries. That's going to go away. All right? That's definitely going to go away. I'm going to get so much grain back. I think I should probably sell some of that too. Um, yeah, I should sell some of the back. What else do I need? I need bricks, right? I really just need bricks.
15? It's like 25, right? Yeah, I'm going to get a lot of the grain back anyways. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I'm okay with that. Let's do this. The grain shouldn't disappear. Isn't eaten raw. Yeah, it shouldn't disappear. All right. Well, the only thing left is I'm losing these two. Oh, it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate I'm losing that. Here we go. We do have that coming out, right? Oh man, they're gonna be hungry for a little bit, right? Well, I need more harpies, right, overall. Three, four, five, right? Seven, eight, three, four, five. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. That's fine. I need more harpies, that's why. I need three more harpies on this side. Do I get food anywhere here? Plus fabric, plus whatever coal? Yeah, uh. Shit, I should have done that to get this as soon as possible. What is that? Do I have it? How many more do I need? That's 11, right? So usually it's four, right? Hang on, it's, it's okay, so two, right? 11, I need 22 of each to get that to, to work. All right, so how about this guy here? Well, she's almost done. That should support 11, 13 people before they go hungry. <laughs> Ugh, this is very bad. I don't know. I, I think that's a bad idea. I might have to buy some back just to eat raw, right? Yeah. Mm, okay. I mean, I don't have anything else, right? I have berries. I guess they can eat the berries raw. They can eat their eggs raw. You take this off. Berries raw, eggs raw. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then I can try to work on making... Making the butcher as quickly as possible. Um... Let me think here. What else can I do? What else can I do yeah. here? Wait, did I just lose all my grains? Oh my god, they just... They just took all my grains. Oh, I should have sold all my grains! Oh, I should have sold all my grains. It did count as... Oh, oh, oh! They did remove my grains. Well, shit! I didn't think they'd actually lose all the grains. Oh, I really could have gotten more money off the grains. Well, the grains do count as as part of that. Shit. Now we know. Oh, no. Shit. Normally it does not. It does not normally take the grains. I think this new update, they probably just wiped the grains out. Fuck, I lost 22. Oh, shit. I lost a shit ton of grains. Oh, no. I lost so much in terms of grain. I was looking back. I was like, you know, I can always convert grains to food. But I guess that's not happening. Oh, slap in the face. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm so mad. I am so mad. Oh, we're so screwed, guys. Ugh. All right, so my other alternative is... Building as many of these as quickly as I can, right? But I need wood. Shit, I don't have wood. Don't have the wood. 
So, okay, so I was thinking of rushing this to get the, the biscuits. But that means we're just gonna have to totally depend on this guy to finish. And this guy to finish. Oh, we're so screwed for the next few minutes. How much raw do I have? I think they already ate a few raws, right? Please deliver. Oh, come on. Coffee break, really? Deliver, deliver, deliver. I don't know if they can hold out for one season, though. I don't know if they can hold out for one season, though. Shit. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know the raw actually. Oh my God, I'm so mad that I lost all that raw grain. But at least they're, they're burnt, they're, they're cranking this out right now. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, let's see here. I need 11, right? So let's see here. How many do I need? Three of these. Three times nine. No, three times three is nine. 19 and then two, right? So one, two, three. An ancient tomb. Right, that's nine times three. Is nine. 10, 11, right? So I'm gonna get that harmony it knocked out of the way as quick as I can. And then Okay, there we go. Our jerky's done. There okay, we got some food. Oh shit. I don't know if that porridge and Thingy's gonna last until the drizzle. Oh, yeah, we got clearance coming in soon. Okay, you go over here and help out. Yeah. And what do I need now? Fabric. And planks, fabric and planks. You know what? I'll get rid of this house. I just need planks, right? Low on food? Tell me something I don't know. Tell me something I don't know. I need humans on that one, right? Where are all my other humans? One on the hearth, right? I need... There's three three, right? Yeah, three three is actually perfect. Oh, well, it might not be perfect. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. I should have probably I should have gotten a few veggies just so that they can eat that raw to hold it over because the porridge has to cook too oh there we go biscuits boom there we go You're an eight on that side, right? Come on. Biscuits are kicking in. This is your sex. Alright, that's fine. Alright. 
Alright, we should be fine, right? Or where are all my other guys? Carpenter, okay. I want to stick that in there just in case. I don't want to miss that window there. Alright, so clan hall. Perfect. Perfect! Perfect. Now I just need more harpies, right? There we go. Alright, so you're 14 on that side and you're 8 on the other side. Perfect. What do we have here? Oh, the Explorer's Lodge. Alright, well, we've recovered one building, so that's going to give us one point, right? Let's see here. What's in this one? The Harmony. That's We're going to recover another building. That's two. The Tool Shop is three. Alright, so I'm going to take the Explorer's Lodge. Yeah, the Explorer's Lodge. I mean, I guess I could stick that there, right? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Max? What's going on? Welcome back. Now I haven't decided on this one, right? I need a monastery. Oh, yeah, you know, the form is actually on the other side, right? So it's a good thing we didn't take the form. Oh, we went to the left. Warlords. Alright, well, I don't know. We might not finish all of this because we don't have a warehouse across the street. It's a lot of stuff to carry back and forth. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they're gonna have to carry- oh my goodness. No, you don't carry, you don't carry, you don't carry. You loot. Oh boy, yeah, we, we're we definitely needing a warehouse here. Or I need to put the harpy on the thing. Oh Jesus, yeah, I can't get all of this back. Oh man, I need more workers. Because we got that 100% soil thing, so that means we're generating more than we can actually harvest. Yeah, look at that. All that wasted. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we wasted all that. Damn it. Huge waste. Huge waste. I need to kill somebody off, don't I? I might need this. Well, you know what? We might actually lose people. We might actually lose people. I don't want to do it on purpose right now, though. Because we have a 15-8, right? I don't think we want to lose people on purpose right now. I mean, we could lose... Well, yeah, see? I don't want to lose people on purpose. I only want to lose one, right? I guess we're okay with one lizard leaving. I'm okay with one lizard leaving. Because then I'll tilt it down by one, right? There we go. Yeah, that's all I need. I only need one. Perfect! One less to house. 
And that's 14 on the side even. Yep, okay. Hopefully we don't lose anymore, right? One less to eat? Yeah, one less to eat. <laughs> right, one, one less mouth to feed. And now we can actually break through this. During the storm. Well, the small caravan... Well, by the time they open that, I, it will be fine, right? I'm not going to be too worried about that. Yeah, it'll take a while till they open that anyways. Hopefully she'll open it. Oh god, she's gotta walk back there. Oh, come on. You gotta deliver. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn it, damn it. Oh, she's on coffee break? Are you serious? Are you serious? Please open that up. Nice. Nice. That's what I needed. I needed that for the 15 tools. There we go. We got 26. That's all I needed. And one person died, right? One person died. And that helped a lot, actually. There we go. The cook died. We lost a cook, but that's okay. Who needs a harpy cook anyways, right? Alright, so this one... Here, do I want left or right? This requires 15 coins. Left is not that great. Yeah, I guess I'll do the right. I need to come up with 15 amber somehow, though. Hmm. Shit. Oh, man. Alright, well, I got money, right? So I should be able to open something up. What is that? It gets me exactly 15. I'm still short on the... On the thing for the other one, though. Which is better? I think this one, right? Looking at the thing. That one's not terribly bad. Okay. Alright, we'll go with that one then. Then I get that money. That's like, what, three minutes? And that takes 12 minutes, right? Okay, I should be able to solve that. Oh yeah, you can do this. Easy. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! What do you got here? Um. Hmm. Reroll. Oh. <laughs> How greedy do I want to be, right? Oh my god, how greedy do I want to be? <laughs> the grain bag. Oh my god. What do you think? Grain bag or... I mean, that's going to scale up quite significantly. I'm going to be swimming in, in grains, guys. Or do I want the solve time? 
It's gonna scale. It's gonna scale significantly. Right? Every time every 25 times it's produced. I don't know. Well, I don't want to be that greedy. Let's go with the loft. I, I wanna increase my speed there. Yeah, let's 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 not get too greedy. Alright, what do I need here? I need more harpies, right? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Damn it! We lost a harpy, didn't we? Shit. We could have gotten this one out of the way earlier. Yeah, we lost a harpy. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Kind of want the right, though. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get, like, a harpy on the next group, right? At least two, right? Well, that's not true, though. We could get three. But I, I'm, the, one, the reason I'm looking at the right is I don't have to sell any more crap to the trader. I need the money to open stuff up. Oh man, that would be really no. No, actually, that's not gonna help me. Like in here. Uh. Let's see here. Plus one, right? I mean, I can go to the left side and guarantee myself. Well, almost guarantee the probability of getting the. You know what? I'm gonna take that one because the probability might be against me. And I, I need 12 harpies. But I don't want to screw that up. Yeah, I don't want to screw that up. Come on. Okay. And then we're gonna get money off of this, right? To be able to solve this. So it shouldn't be too bad. And I need five coins, right? Are you giving me any money? You're not giving me money back, right? Shit. So I need money to open up this one eventually. But that's gonna take a while anyways. To get to that. I'm not too worried. That's what. Uh, boom. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need jerkies for harpies too. You're right. I do need jerkies for harpy. We need to kill off people. Huh. We definitely need to kill off more people. So I can get this hostility to drop, right? I need two pipes. Shit, I don't have enough pipe. Uh, I need a smelter. I did not buy. I did not get the smelter, right? No. Okay. Shoot. What I need to do is get two smelters, or a smelter of some sort. I need to get five coins. Well, I mean, I guess if I break through this without any money, two people will die, right? I guess that's fine, too. Because, like, two people will drop me down, like, by 50 points. Okay, that should help me with my lizard problem. Alright, so I can probably resume doing this then. Because I have this now running. What, what are you missing? Planks? Oh. Oh, I'm missing the other person, huh? I don't think this guy's got anything else to do. 
Oh, he's making skewers. For himself. Oh, yeah, I, I need jerky for the, the harpies, right? Are they not eating jerkies? No, okay, yeah, yeah. I need somebody to be on, on this duty here. Right, yeah, I need somebody on that duty. This is so messy, all killing and leaving? Oh, yeah. I gotta kill people to get down to this 50 points. We got 13 porridge, right? Yeah, this filling dish gave me two. So we're actually generating more than we need. I definitely need to get a work a warehouse over here, right? So we're now getting double yield. Right. All camps produce 100% more yields now. So we're actually getting more off of this. And this. And I need planks for this, right? That's the human homes. How much wood do I have? I don't have enough wood. I gotta get more wood. Jesus. Alright, you you do wood then. Explorer's Lodge? Oh, you know why? It's because of the Explorer's Lodge. That's why. Yeah, see. Planting is not the issue. Planting is not the issue. It's harvesting. Oh, the monastery. Oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that monastery. Yeah, baby. Oh no, tablets. What the form? No, no tablets, no tablets. No tablets. We're not we're not doing tablets. Hang on, let me take the... Let me put harpies on that one so we can... Harpies are going back on break, aren't they? Shitty harpies. Alright, they are... They're, she's on break, so she should start delivering this fast. See, these guys are going back on break. So they always do that after they finish the event. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. You know what I'm missing? Provisions. God, I hope I'm really hoping there's enough. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. All right, so six, six times three, right? Three, three times four is 12. Okay, I only need nine. Okay, okay. I need that one built ASAP. I need this built ASAP and we need to spit that out ASAP. We might not make it guys. I might as well start this now. So they can deliver the money.
Cause it, they're gonna deliver all that money fast, so it's not an issue. Where's my human? Harvester. You're done. I need that to proc. Yeah, I need that to proc. Oh boy. I'm gonna put you back in here. Eight? I need that to proc. Oh, come on. So you're bringing the money over there. That's fine. I got eight minutes. That's not bad, actually. Okay. We should be fine. Theoretically. Theoretically. Hang on. How much water do I have? I have 147 storm water, right? I need everyone in that one. I need everyone in else. Oh boy, I don't have enough to go around. I need workers. I need workers. Yeah, I need actually four, but I need to also get yellow water too. Alright, hang on. I don't need these guys anymore. That's because we don't we don't have any camps right now going, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, hang on. What else? Where else? Or there. Okay, woodcutter. Oh, that's a bad idea over there, but that's okay. Alright, I gotta remove that. Four over there. Okay, the one is on the hearth. That's why. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, yeah, we got water. Okay, hopefully we'll get the yellow water and we'll just complete the bottom quest. Easily. And I gotta figure out something about the jerky. But once we get the monastery and the... Um, the two people to kill off, then we should be fine, right? I should have removed that one first. Alright, so that's the last juice on that one. Nice. Cutting it close. It's a good thing I got the event solve, right? Good thing I got that event solve one. Oh. Might be able to make it go faster. Might be able to make it go faster here. Yeah, I might be able to make it go faster with the other hearth because I can get another 10% if I see a hearth right here. You just gotta deliver that and you're done, right? Do your part, man. Do your part. Deliver, deliver. Oh, coffee break. What is this? Coffee break. What? No coffee breaks. 
Come on, all these coffee breakers. All right, we should be able to do that. That's not a big deal. It's like four minutes. I don't even have to worry about that. You know, I'm not even worried about that. Jesus Christ. These guys are hilarious. They're always taking coffee breaks. Okay. All right. Well, they don't need to eat this anymore, right? Yeah. What's the hotkey for road? Okay. So if you roll your mouse over the road, you just hit shift, right? Hit the shift key once and then it'll pop up and say click or, or right click or drag, right? So that is just, no, it's not just specific to the roads. Um, it's like if you want to like clone, say, a, a building, roll your mouse over the building, hit shift, and it clones it. So all you're really doing is just cloning the road. Right? That's all you're doing. Road cloning. So like say I roll my mouse over this, right? I just basically can do the same, you know. So that's, that's all I did was roll my mouse over the road like this and drag it out however I want like this yeah nice to know right yeah I'm glad you're learning something from the stream always nice to to know people are learning stuff it's eh, fine right I don't think I need that right yeah I'm fine with that okay so drizzle water, right? Need Sorry, I already have a drizzle water. Oh no, this is pipe pumps built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still need four four pipes. Okay, I need four pipes. Alright, so I need one harpy. Oh, I don't want to sell bricks. That's terrible. For five coins though, it's not bad. Hang on, I need to build that up first before I do that, right? Oh, you know what? Hang on. There you go. That works. That works. All right, so I'm going to use the five coins to get into this. Where else am I going to go? I think it was this one, right? The tool shop. Well, I might not need the tool shop because... Well, I guess I should... Well, the tool shop could give me a plus one rep gain. Or sorry, one resolve, right? Because of the Explorer's Lodge. I need the monastery, though. I need bricks. I need five bricks from somewhere. All right, well, I need to chop as many trees as I can while I can. Right, yeah, I need to chop as many trees while I can. I'm trying to get this thing out of the way so I can get that road back up so these guys can walk faster. Alright, none of these guys are gonna move anytime soon. But I do need to cut through this, right? To get that road to go faster. Hang on, let's go ahead and do that tree first. Yeah, I'm gonna wanna get that tree so I can angle this and go this direction. So I can get this over there. All right, let's turn this in. Bam, there goes my 30 bricks right there. You know what's funny is I've not crafted a single fabric. 
This entire run, guys. I've been living off of rewards. I've been totally living off of rewards. This here, this here, the bricks as well. Well, the bricks actually, I did have to craft a little bit. But that is gonna be amazing. What do you got for me? Ooh, rain collector, huh? I'm in, I need the stamping mill for the flower. Plus I need that copper, right? To get some bars. Link in here. I want to get rid of that one there and put the stamping mill in front. Flower is a must-have? Yeah, flower definitely is a must-have. This is year seven, right? It's not that big of a deal. How's my crops? Okay, we got like, what, four patches there and then two patches over here. And this guy's on coffee break. Alright, so I think if I had like a warehouse here, I think this will go faster. Or a warehouse on this side. Let me get rid of this, because I don't need that there right now. Oh, shit. I, oh, man. I did that wrong. I did need that there. <laughs> That's not the one I wanted to delete. Not the one I wanted to delete. It was this one I wanted to delete, though. Barbarella. Alright, I'm on three, right? I gotta get off of three. I need to kill people off. Well, the harpies are not gonna make it. That's the shitty part. Everybody else will make it. Harpies will not. I guess I'll have to use rainwater. There. Oh, I guess I can turn. Well, no, yeah, I have to leave that. I don't. I don't want to put the lizard on that one. It's really unfortunate that I've got this and this. And how do you unassign all workers from buildings? Okay, so to unassign all workers, you shift again. It's the magic shift key. You hold the shift key, and then you right click with your mouse. And it automatically removes everybody. All right, and then if you want to fill up all the same workers, all the same species, you, you hold the shift key again and click on that, and it automatically fills everyone in. All right, so that is the magic key there that does that. It's in-game key, not a cheat. No external hacks, guys. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no worries. You're welcome. I need to get this monastery up so I can chop trees during the storm. And you're almost done, right? Oh, oh, you know what? Hang on. That guy's taking forever. How long is this? Two minutes? Let me see if I can speed that time up. Oh wow, I actually can get that too, huh? <laughs> nice. I need more workers.
Need more workers. I need more workers. <laughs> I did, you know, Greg actually said that a second ago. Then Ron's going to go, hey, I need more workers. Uh, or was it Greg or was it somebody else? Who, who, who said I was going to say I need more workers again? <laughs> I think it was Greg, right? Oh, no, no. Technician says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Techni Nick, no, it wasn't Greg. It was tech technician. Yeah, no, he said that Ron's going to later say I need more people. It was it was tech technician that said that. Hmm. Oh, I needed that for the... Oh, God. For the thingy. He knows you well. Yeah, they've been watching the stream long enough to know. Alright, we can switch this over. There we go. Beautiful. Now we can chop some trees during the storm and get some insects, finally. And you guys can help out with building stuff, right? Storm water. Alright, so let me go ahead and put somebody there. So that way. Oh, hey, they did finish that already. I guess I didn't need to build this. That's fine. We'll leave it there for now. If I need to get wood cutting, anyways. Oh, wait, no, I can't go up to two, right? Two is the buffer. Besties. Okay, hang on. I want more berries. Yep, I want more berries. Wanda. Oh, this didn't get finished. Damn it. That didn't get finished in time. All right, let's go ahead and do that side first, then. All right, what do I want to do here? I need... Where are all my humans at? Oh, they're in the geyser pump, and they're in this thingy. Nito Toledo. Toledo. One person, three people. Two, one. Okay, that's fine. All right, what do we got here? Oh, cannibalism. Nice. <laughs> I do want to kill people off. Perfect. Perfect. How do I kill people off? I guess we'll have to wait till next year. Yeah, well, I mean, we're gonna kill- we're gonna kill somebody off when they open this anyways, right? Pop, one person's gonna die. Um... That's four- we're gonna need 14 on that side, right? Alright, what do you got for me? Let me take this off. Alright, that's fine, I don't want- I don't want any of that, okay. What do you got for me here? Ooh, but I don't have any money. <laughs> I don't have any money. Yeah, I don't have any money. 
All right, I'm gonna buy one because if we pop it, it's gonna be 15 and I need 12 for the other one. I mean, if I kill, if I lose two people to the other one, that's not as bad, right? Let me go ahead and spend my money then. Just to get rid of it. Um, hmm, let's see, if I get rid of that, that is like, what, 24? Where did I get, can I get 24, right? Uh, 25, right? No, wait. No, that's not 24. No, 29, right? I can get 29. 29. Oh, hey, look, there's an ale. Oh, but I also need incense too, right? Oh, I need incense for the monastery. Oh, yeah. Shit, how am I going to come up with that? Shit, how am I going to come up with that? Well, uh, I guess I, no, I don't know if I want to dump all my coal. Two, right? Provisions? Parts. I can probably dump five parts. And then I need to come up with the rest, right? I can probably dump two of these. I actually don't need all those essence. All right, let's go with the. Hang on, let me. Before I do that, let's turn off this. Oh, I'll get the thirty off of this. I only need twenty, right? Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Let's figure out getting the harpies in first. Five on this side. I get more humans on this side. If I go with this, I have an even number of lizards. I only need, what, eight total? Four, four? Yeah, well, let's go with this right side. That just evens it out. Even Steven. Alright, so humans now. I should be able to put humans, all humans on this. All humans on this. Well, actually, no. I I want more berries than, than the other thing, you're right. Alright, so that's fine. And I need to kill off some people here later. Okay, so four can go on that side. I technically don't need this. And four on that side. Okay. Or how many more do I need? I need I need harpy homes, right? Four harpy homes. Alright, so one there. Shoot, there's not enough space to go around. Um, let's I guess one there. That's four on this side, right? And I get more of this. And I get one of these. Yes. I'll just put that there for now. Let's just move it over here. Alright, so you're fine on this side, right? We'll we'll do four on that side. So that way the harpy homes. Seven, right? Oh no, we won't get four. I have to delete the harpy building on the other side over. Well that's okay. Alright. Or well. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Well, you know, hang on, let me just do this. Get like a lizard house or something. Yep, let's do a lizard house. That's the four, right? Okay, so that should take care of this side with being 14. Because we have homeless people. This one is just kind of sitting there for now. Um, I'll figure that out later. Alright, so we're going to have harpies... They're going to give me the incense I need, 30 for this. I only need to buy 20, assuming that I get enough jerkies. Alright, I should be able to get enough jerkies, actually. Um, whoa. Whoa, that's right. 
All right, so what? About, well, okay, so let's go ahead and chop some trees there. Um, what else? What else? Do I need bricks right now? I don't. I don't think I do. I'll put a cap limit on this. I don't need this. Anyways, all right. So I don't need anyone on that one. I do need green water, right? Yeah, I need. Well, okay. He's not. Oh, he are. He is selling pipes. All right. So I only need to buy twenty of these. Right. I think it's only twenty, right? Yeah, twenty of these. Um, and I need six pipes. No. Six goes into the other side, four goes into the stamping mill, and then four in the bakery. Oh god, I'm gonna buy all of this. Right, that's twelve. Six and four, that's not gonna be enough. Ugh. Sixteen coins, right? I could give up sixteen coins. I need one tool, too. Yeah, what am I going to give up for all of that? Okay, so this I can go down to three. Or one, right? One even. Because I'm getting two off of this one. Right, I also don't need parts, right? Because I got five coming in. I probably don't need all ten parts. Can't imagine needing ten parts right now. Five parts. Hey, thank you for that, Rami. Appreciate that. All right, well, I'll give up five. I don't want to give up ten. I'm gonna give up all this. I'm gonna give this up down to one. Because I can't imagine needing more than than whatever. So I need one of these. And I need 20 of these, so I don't have to produce it. And I need pipes, right? However many I can get. Eight, right? Okay, I guess I'll, I'll go with eight. We'll just have to suck it up on the other one. Okay, let's go with this. Alright, I'm happy with that. It's four difference. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm gonna need to figure out something for the the bakery later. I could make bars right off of this other one. If I can get this going right, or sorry, this one. Yeah, all right, that's my five. All right, that's good, right? I think we're good. We're good. And that will solve my water problem here. And you go that way. Alright, let's go ahead and crank this up. Get that jerky going. Get that jerky fulfillment. I think everyone's happy, right? Everyone's peachy. We're gonna get yellow green water, so I don't think that's a problem. You only get four new buildings unlocks at P20? What do you mean? You only get four new buildings unlocks at P20. No, 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 no. There was there was more than that. I can't remember how many notches. I can't remember how many notches there were down there. I mean you, you get like a restriction of two though. At the very beginning, you only get two to choose from. Right. Well, you get two to choose from, and then you, you, you pick two. So it's a total of four, kind of, to choose from right at the beginning. So there's two two free blueprints at the very beginning of the game. And then whatever the blue notches are. I, I forgot. There's like a bunch of blue, blue notches along the bottom. I think that's what your, your question is about, right? How many to choose at the beginning, right? You only get to choose two. And then you get two to choose from. 
Yeah, two to, you get to choose two and two to choose from. It's because there's a cornerstone that says like minus two. Right? No, that's the cornerstone. There we go. Here, this one, right? Less is more. So you get you get two fewer blueprints. Uh. And this is year eight, right? We should be fine. What am I missing on that one? Stone cutter? Well, technically, I don't need all that yellow water, but that's fine. If I take this now, I guess I get the... You know, I'm going to take that now, I guess. That's fine. Just to move this bar here. So I can get this. Don't cutters camp. Oh, it's the wood, huh? It's the wood that I'm having issues with. What? What is this missing? Five parts. Where? Where? I, I thought I took... I got five parts. Oh! The parts are off this one, not that one. Oh! And I was like, where are my five parts? It's off of this one. Damn it. Well, anyways, that's probably going to help me. I think, from this, anyways. Dang on it. I don't want to turn this harpy one in, though. I don't need to turn that one in. I'm saving that one. Yeah, I'm kind of saving that one. That's my auto turn in. Yeah. How much hostility do you get for delivering an order? Uh, it subtracts. It's okay. Well, it's not specific to the hostility per se. Like if I'm, let's say I'm right here, right? 0.88. So if I turn it in, I lose 0.5, right? The Queen's Impatience is less now, right? Losing, or oh, not that one. I think it's this one. Where is it? There we go, this one. So this is uh, Prestige 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, right? So Prestige 14, you get 0.5 less. So technically, you only get five, right? So every time you turn in a point, a full point, right? You It's basically uh, to the left, and then she goes to the left by 0.5. So if I'm at zero, if I'm at like, okay, so I was actually over over the bar here by nine something, right? So that means I, I drop down past that nine. That means I lose minus 15 in patience. So for each impatient point, I get 15. But now in this case right here, she's at she's already above 0.5, right? 8.5. She's above 8.5. So if I turn in anything now, I'm not going to lose any impatience because I don't drop below 8. If I don't drop below 8, then I still maintain that, that plus 15 that she gives me, or minus 15 hostility, right? Does that make sense? Unless I'm selling grain, I don't need more. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to need grain off of the stamping mill. Um, I probably didn't need... The, yeah, you're right. I probably didn't need to pipe the, the thing. I probably didn't need to pipe that. But I'm going to get clay. But I do want to proc that. But in terms of proccing this, probably not a big deal. I'm going to get this anyways, though. So I'm going to proc that to make some bars. It's not that big a deal to, to pipe that. The... The grain, there's the, the butcher here. I can probably turn this into... Into oil. And use that as well. Right, because the grains can be converted to oil. 
But yeah, I'm gonna be swimming in, in grain for a while. All right, how, how are you doing, guys? I need the stone thingy, though, right? All right, so that's a done. I'm gonna take this plus one, right? Oh, the question is, do I want to? <laughs> the question is, do I want? Well, if I pop that, I might actually lose harpies. I'll take this now, actually, instead of later. The reason is, I might up, I might might end up going below twelve, and then that done on this side is retro. But the done on the right is not. Well, no, the done on the right is also retro. Not retro, right? It, it can actually get screwed up. Yeah, it's just better to turn that in overall. All right. Huh. I have a bakery, but do I need that or not? So, <laughs> Clay? I mean, I am... Well, I'm not going to be brick-starved anymore, because I have all that freaking thing on the right. Do I want to make better pies? Or not? I mean, I have the ability to do incense, right? What do you guys think? Left or right? I don't have to think about this. Well, I mean, on the right, I don't think I'll ever get brick-starved. And I can always funnel that into this to get the stamping mill. Incense for monastery? Well, we're gonna get incense. We already have... I mean, I can turn this in right now. See, I can turn that in right now whenever the hell I want. I just don't want to turn it in because I'm I'm saving this for the worst case scenarios. I don't want to turn in all my quests. That's the thing. And there you go. That should move my bar. thing in here. You know what? Let's go ahead and well, let me get the yellow water first and then we'll remove it. But long term for people to fulfill their religion needs, you know? Yeah, I mean, it is it is long term, yes. But if I also get the stamping mill, I can also produce the ale and pickle goods, which I'm going to get this building over here for. The haunted brewery. That's why I'm playing on that one, right? So Pickle Goods gets the Blizzard, and the Brewery gets her, right? And then that one star religion, it's only one star. It's kind of meh. You know what I mean? It's only one star. I might end up getting something better, right? I think there was another building that gets me more, right? That one, right? That one gets me the biscuits and religion in that one, right? Incense. So if I if I go in there, I can always get that. And that's gonna help me with my Explorers League too, right? Because the Explorers League, once I solve that, this is gonna go up by three total. I mean it's gonna go up by one. So we'll see. Alright, now finally, you you get some green water for everybody. Now I just need this, right? That up and running. Okay, so that's gonna be 14, right? Alright, we just moved to the left. 
Oh, damn. Alright, I'm thinking probably the clay pit. I don't think the pie is going to make that much of a difference. We currently have a two-star pie, which we, even, we haven't even built yet. So, bakery right here. Yeah, which, why? Why does that matter? Plug in here. Oh, it's because it needs the coal. Okay, I, I can see that. I think that might be faster. Yeah, alright, that's fine. They're just gonna walk through this alley. Alright, so we're looking at 6 to 4, right? Ratio. 6 to 4. What's your ratio? 6 to 3? Eh, it's not that much of a difference, guys. 6 to 4, 6 to 3? Not much difference. I'm gonna take the clay pit. I mean, yeah, 6 to 4, 6 to 3. Totally irrelevant. We're, we're gonna be swimming in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're fine. Dang it. Oh, what do I want to do here? Oh. What do I want to do this? Alright, so I don't need the stinking harpies anymore, right? We only needed them for... For that quest. I need to kill off two. We're gonna get meat. Right, we're gonna get meat. And then every time they die, I get six tools. Boing. Alright, so that's two on that side, right? And seven, eight on that side. I got one more to go. Do I want to kill off two more now or later? Alright, yeah, let's, let's see there's six. It's fine. Well, let's, where are all my other harpies at? The monastery, the rain collector. I don't need the rain collector. Light post, woodcutter's camp. Alright, do I want to kill off more harpies? That's the other question. We have 17 on that side. Two is going to get housed, so one is going to be left alone, which is 1.8, right? I could probably move eight on this side. If I kill off two, I could still move it off, right? I'll still maintain 14, right? Well, no. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely maintain 14 on this side. I'll maintain eight on this side, or 14 on this side, right? Do I want to kill off two more? That's the question. Because if I kill off two more, I can get my hostility down even further. And the impatient goes up, right? But I only have, like, what, two of these to turn in as my backup. So I got two points here. One, two, three, four. Four points. This is, like, what? There's, like, one point over here. Like, one point here. So one, two, three, four. Four. No, 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 this is one point, right? Two points. Kind of three, right? Kind of three. So three points, four points, five points. One, two, three, four, five. I need one and a half on my own. Or two points. Two points on my own, right? Roughly two points. Okay. How many, how many do you have? You have one large chest in there. So once I open that, that's all I need, right? Um, uh, well, might not, well, I mean, if I open this, I can get the tool shop. I need this to go faster. What's I get in here? Do I want to kill off two people to lower my hostility? 
I mean, I don't have any money to open the other one, so I'm gonna lose two anyways. I'm gonna lose two anyways. Three, right? I'm gonna lose... Well, I'm gonna lose one anyways. I'm gonna lose three, actually, because... Opening, right? You know what? I don't want to waste any more. Raid routes are worth three more. Detailed notes. Lizards... You know what? I'm gonna decline this. I don't want to waste any... Any of these resources. Yeah, I don't trade enough to make any of this matter. Alright, I'm just gonna decline all that. So we're done with that. Alright, so... So, we're gonna kill off people here if I can. This turn, maybe. Alright, so you got 17 there. Three. Yeah, I'm just kind of scared about killing too many people, because we know we're going to have to open this. One person's going to at least die. I'm not sure if I'm willing to kill off two more. But two more is going to drop us by 50%, right? I might kill three. So three points is going to go up to here, right? And I turn in something, I can get out of it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess I can, I, I'll be okay. I should be able to kill off three and, and be fine. Should be able to kill off three and be fine. Alright, this is not going anywhere, right? Okay, there we go. That's our five parts back. Easy there. Alright, so you need... Wait, the Harmony Spirit's on this side, right? Where's the altar? Oh, here we go. Never mind, it's over here. Oh, how do I want to fit this in here? It really is a big ass building too. I think I'm gonna have to do my 20 on this side then. Eight on that side, okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to transfer people over to this side. And we're going to set up our 20 on this side. To get that proc chance. Alright, so I need 6 to, ch to go over there eventually. Alright, let's see here. If I go 8 on this, 8, on, eight, eight to 8? Eight? Hmm. 8 to 8 might work. I get the plus 2 resolve. Alright, well let's do... How many harpies do we have? 16? Okay, so we'll do a harpy over here. We'll do a harpy over here. Actually, that's a really terrible spot. Oh man, these are terrible spots. Absolutely terrible. Yep, absolutely terrible. It's on that side of the, the street, right? Yep, very, very terrible spots. Well, hang on, I should probably just... No, oh, that's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll just leave it. And then you're done on that side, right? I want to get this road out of the way. And then this one goes all the way over here. Alright, we're going to take people in. Uh, who, okay, hang on. We're going to take five, right? Who do I need more of? 
Hmm. I guess if I go left, it's an even number, right? If I go right, it's an odd number. It's easier to make homes for for harpies. So let's go with the left. Um, okay, yeah. Another one then, yeah. Alright, so, okay. But I just need... I just need, uh... Eight on this side, right? Eight on that side. Five, six? Fourteen. Yeah, I just need eight on this side. Need another... Well, I need ultimately I need six on that side, but we'll figure that out late later. See here. Oh, dang. That is gonna help me a bit. Thirty. How do I come up with thirty? Jesus. I don't need this anymore. Yeah, I don't need that anymore, right? Well, I mean that does make incense. If I sell that, I won't be able to make incense. I don't think I can make incense without it, right? Consumption? Recipe. Incense. Oh, oh shit. Spelled it wrong. Ingredients. Or no, product, right? Yeah, see? Roots, I'm not. Yeah, so I, I definitely need the love to make incense. I can't sell that. I do want to get this, though, but I don't think I can come up with it. Yeah, none of these. Ech, damn it. That stinks. Or I guess the one on the left is better. I mean, the one on the right is kind of meh. It's not going to do anything. The Lizard's Decadence is 7. That's not ever going to happen, right? I need, like, what? 7 of those? 7 that's, like, 144? Yeah, not happening. Oh, I need 4 inch. For the humans. If they have to eat that, that's fine. We're gonna get so much of that. We need porridge. Um. One there, right? All right. What else? Okay, I got that there. I got that there. I need to get another point on this one. Explorer's Lodge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start cranking that out, I guess. Uh. Jesus. How about this one? She's 18, right? Dang it! I need one more point off of her. Okay. Maybe you should make some biscuits then. Alright, well I don't want to waste that point right now. Until we, we get the biscuits. Yeah, I don't want to waste that until we get the biscuits. Alright, we'll, we'll take you off. Don't need you there. Okay, what do you got for me? 14 on that side, 17 on that side, almost 8 on this side. Alright, so I need another one of these. Over there. And then you. 
need eventually two of these. Okay. There we go. Somehow that kicked in. Somehow that kicked in. I don't know. I don't know how that kicked in. But I'm okay with that. If that kicked in. I think they were just initially unhappy because their friends were were killed off. Okay, so now you need what? 21? There we go. All right, what are you working? Yeah, it's going to take a while for me to get that, huh? I don't have an, a warehouse part for that. Yeah, I can't move that. Can't move that. Yep, can't move anything. Shit. I need everything. Alright, I don't need the green water then. Oh, maybe I still do. Alright, you know what? I don't need the green water. Let's go ahead and make some yellow water. Because we need the yellow water for the stamping mill. Nice to see overflowing with food. Oh yeah, I'm, I know, right? They're not going to go hungry anytime soon. Nobody's going hungry. Alright, so I need two on the other side, right? I can move two off of this. Maybe two lizard homes. Oh, 16. Oh, shit. This is year 9. I don't know if they're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to make it. We might not make it. Let me see. I, I got to get some preparation here. Where all my shit? Okay, it's on that side, right? Hang on. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna remove this guy. This guy doesn't need to be there. I'm gonna move you over here. And then I need to get... parts for that one. And let's put the other guy somewhere else. I stick this guy where he's where he can be useful. Really not useful for any any spot here. Sure, I guess that's fine. All right, please hurry. Might not make it, but we'll see. 15, 14. I might not make it. No beavers to carry you? Must be hard? Oh, come on, beavers. Beavers stink. Although they did carry me last game yesterday, so I will I, I will say they actually did carry last game. Or sorry, yesterday's game, right? Yesterday's game. 
Nice. And then you just need to break open that and kill all three people, right? Oh shit, three people are gonna die. She's gonna be pissed. I don't know if it's a good idea to break that. Unless I can come up with money. Yeah, she's gonna be pissed. Three people are gonna die. I think she's gonna be very close to... to ...getting pissed. Seriously. Seriously. Come on, just chop the damn tree. Just chop the damn tree. Oh, come on! Bullshit! Bullshit! This is bullshit. Oh, bullshit. You... Oh my god, you suck. It's so bullshit. Absolute bullshit. All right, three. Yeah, all right, that's fine. With the bottle. All right. Well, I don't. I don't know if I want to kill three people this time. So I'll. I'll sell this. I don't want to kill three people. Damn it! I'm really pissed that they didn't do their job. Um, oh, yes, that's fine, right? Yeah, that's fine. We'll go ahead. It's like six units difference, but... Huh. I don't think I can do any with that, right? Two pipes? Nah, we're just gonna make the bars. Who cares? We got the thing that makes the bars. I'm just so pissed. We don't need this anymore. I'm so freaking pissed that they did not open that in time. Ugh. Wasting that opportunity. Alright. We gotta suck it up again for another round. Artesian or market? I guess coats, right? Two people needs coats. Yeah, I guess I'll take the artesian. Fine, we don't need you anymore. Go back to chopping trees. Um, what do you got for me? I guess this one, right? That one there. You get that yellow water back again. <sighs> I'm so mad. Really, really wanted to kill people off there. Because now my hostility is kind of stuck in limbo here. I don't want to bring in... Well, yeah, I don't want to bring in new people, though. I mean, I could use six on that side, but... What is that? Eight? If I go down to four, eight. Fourteen is fine. I mean, fourteen is speed, but this is proc chance. That's fine. I'll leave this. I'll leave it. That's fine. We'll just do two speed. Okay, that's fine. We'll go with this. Speed this up here. Buggers. Oh, it's stupid. Stupid fuel. Uh -huh. I think it's coal, right? I think we're running out of coal. That's why.
Yeah, I think we're running out of coal. That's causing it. Uh, where are my lizards at? Hearth, clan halls, okay. Oh, well. But we also have oil, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we also have oil. All right, what do we have going on here? All right, so I should be able to get bars, right? And then we, we should be able to get the, whatchamacallit, the pipes we need, right? Where, where is the, oh my God, look how much porridge I have. Look at that! Jesus Christ! I got like plus 16 on that? Nice! That's amazing. We're just running out of yellow water. We're just running out of yellow water. Well, wood is not our problem, right? Wood isn't the problem. We definitely need yellow water, though. Alright, what do you need? 24? Well, shit. I just need her to eat biscuits, then. Just eat all those biscuits, and then we're good, right? Beautiful. Harpies are carrying me today. Three points off the harpies, one off the lizard. No, lizard should give me two though. Later. Yeah, we're gonna have to do lizards next. Pickle goods, right? Pickle goods is next. Wait, are you making me more bars? You only got four, right? Six. Alright, so you can't do anything for me there. Flight eight? Oh. Man, we're actually using way too much water now, huh? That second post. I might need to build that second post again. Twelve, right? One, two. One, two. Like three? Three on my own. Okay. Three on my own. I might not need the stone tooth marrow. I mean, really, guys, I don't think I need to even go here. Right, the haunt. I mean, the haunted brewery is nice, but I don't think I even need that. I can probably just get the coats I need. Oh, that's, well, that's not true, though. Sure, why not? I mean, I just get the fabric and then just make the coats, right? Yeah, I probably don't... Well, I need to open stuff, right? I still need to open stuff to make... To get the... The tools. I need to open one to get 15 tools, right? 15 tools solve one thingy, right? Hang on, so I open it up. One, two, three, and then, well... Some people are gonna die, so I get like six. Right, six plus the tw the two the twelve that I have, I should be able to open two cash. Not even deal with a stone tooth termite because I have like so much food here. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. 
All right, so it's like two points here, two cash, ignore the stone tooth termite. And then we're good, right? Well, so I need like what? One full bar out of my own pocket. That's all it is. I need one full bar on my own, out of my own pocket. Oh shit. Well, level two is not that big of a deal. Where's my other RP? Humans. Why why do I have so many humans over there? Hang on. Yeah, why do I have so many humans over there? Land hall, huh? Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Eight should be doable. All right. Well, everybody, everything's fine for now, right? I mean, I could take this off, I guess. We don't need anyone during that phase. How's this? Just need fabric, right? But, hmm. Coffee break. Oh, I guess jerky is right. All right. Go ahead and make your jerkies. For the harpies. Oh well, actually the lizard also needs it. We should be getting coal, right, off of this burnt thing. Dang. You could get gold from encampment and buy tools. I mean, I guess. Well, I'd lose up my. My jerkies, right? I don't know if I want to give up my jerkies. I'd have to give up the jerkies. The insects. I really don't need to buy the tools. I can probably just pop the thing and just... Get the tools I need on the last night and solve it. I mean, I can pop the tools on the last night. Right? When things hit the fan. Turn in something here, pop and, and, and move on, right? I think it might it might be better to just do small glades. Alright, so let's say okay. So I pop in like a bunch of small glades, my hostility is not as high. I get fifteen, right? Pop one, get fifteen. I solve one. I lose three people. Well, I lose two people. I lose one, right? Well, I actually don't lose any, right? If I pop a small one, I don't lose anything. Uh, but ideally, I do want to lose... see, if I lose three people... If I lose two people, I get 12 tools, right? Alright, you know what? I think I'm... Let's see here. I'm gonna look for something that's got... Got a small cache in there as well. I don't need the termites anymore. But my new plan is probably just to pop this. Get the small cache. And I think that might be fine. And my hostility is going to go... I mean, my, it's not going to matter anymore. My hostility is already there. I lose two people. Well, I lose one person. Well, it's kind of late now though, right? 21 seconds. I don't think I'm going to... Open that up in time. I don't know. Let's find out. I don't know. I don't think I will, though. Find out. Did I get it? 
I did get it. Wow, I did get it just in time. <laughs> nice. Very nice. I know, right? I did get it. I had 12, right? Plus 15? Yeah, I got it. Amazing. Amazing. Alright, I'm gonna take this then. Get that out of the way. And then we'll get the money, right? That's one point. And I need, I need one and a half. Or two, right? I need two. Hmm. We got nothing here to sell. That's okay. We're we're okay with that. Okay, I got a lot of wood, so it's not a big deal. Nah, it's sexy. I mean, I know I could type that in, but I'm just lazy. Too lazy. Where do I want to stick this? A pretty big building. I mean, it doesn't have to be in my thing. But it's going to get me at least one point resolve. Wait, did I rotate it correctly? Alright, so we're gonna get fabric off of this. Alright, that's fine. I just need to leave that lizard there, right? Just for the, the seat warmer. Can't really. That's not enough, right? Nope, not enough. All right, so I got seven, three left, right? <sighs> Eat that up a little bit. So you pay out one point. And then maybe the humans can pay out one point. And that's it. I think that's it. I don't have to open the thing. Alright. Yeah, I don't have to open the thing. So long as the lizard and the humans pay out, we should be fine. Yeah, we're gonna get pies next, right? And then coats. Yeah, I don't I actually don't need to open it. So I'm not too worried about that. Hostility is being maintained. No. Oh, hmm. Whoa, none of these. I don't have money for rerolls. I mean, I, I don't think that last blueprint really matters anyways. I even have a clay pit, too, and I'm not even doing anything with it. Well, I can't even really effectively use the clay pit anyways. The yellow water is kind of a problem. We just need to get that lizard to give us his full point there. And then switch back to her? Or her? Okay. Corruption's level. High level. Seven. Eh. Seven's okay. Manageable. Alright, so that means I need to come up with 75 on my own. That was the chest, right? Or one point on my own. 29. Oh, 29. 
He might actually do the rest on his... 27, right? Take her off. Oh, yeah, I guess I can take her off and favor harpies. Yeah, I guess favor harpies. Plus 5, that's 27. Or I pop something and then just solve... Just solve something, right? Yeah, I just pop something and just solve it. Alright, what well, this one? Let's see here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take this now for the stock food stock. But I, I, I do want to keep the food stock for the next journey. No food stock on that one, right? Alright, so the food stock I can carry to my next adventure. Or do I just go ahead and pop something now? I mean, I'm thinking here. I'm thinking here. <laughs> Alright, I can kill I can kill people off. I can kill one person off. Get 15. Well, I don't, really don't need to kill anyone off, do I? It's kind of mean, right? Well, I mean, oh, okay, so let's... I mean, I kill... I, 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 don't, I don't need to kill anybody. I can just open a small one and then just, boom. Take the 15 and just solve the other one over here. And that's my remaining 75. Or, or, oh, actually, hang on, 24. Actually, no, but this guy is actually taking the 75. Okay, so I need to pop this. No, I need this. I need a medium, right? Okay, so I'll pop this. I'll get 15 to open the medium, and that's the 75, and then we win. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. I'm okay with that idea. Oh, is that is that the closest, or is there something better? Yeah, that is kind of the closest, huh? Well, the other one is closer, but it's got it's got a large in there, and I don't have enough money for the large. Well, wait a minute. I should have enough money, right? One person dies. Plus 15. 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 15. I'm short 1. But we can make it off the tools. Yeah, we can make it off the tools. Yeah, okay. Alright. So, I pop this. It's closer, right? And then this is one point. Alright, so I pop that. One person dies. I get six tools from this. Alright, and I get 15. Six plus 15 is 21. 22, 23, 24. I think that's it. I actually don't need to make anything. 24 is perfect, right? Yeah, 24 is perfect, right? Let me, me, me think about that math, right? I've got three right now. I pop, I get... I get six and 15. That's 21, 23, 24, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually don't need to make this. Technically. I should be fine. Come on. Any day now. Alright, one person dies. Harpy builder. Okay, I'm okay with that. Harpy. Bye bye, Harpy. Where's the medium? I guess there's a medium in here. Or sorry, large, right? There we go. Oh, my math is fine, right? 
Boom. That's the one point I need. Bam. We win. We're a winner. What? What? Oh. 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 I forgot to... Oh. It's the... Oh, God. I forgot to... Load that up. Oh no. Hey Lost, thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. Let me give you a shout out there, everybody. Give give Lost a little follow there. Uh hang on, let me type this your name here. Welcome. Alright, we're screwed a little bit. One minute and 47 seconds. Oh god, I gotta put somebody in there. Bomber died, Stonekeeper died. Yeah, yeah, we're, I think we're fine, right? Alright. It's a good thing we, uh... We have a backup plan. It's going great. Well, should be. <laughs> should be. If my math is correct. If all my calculations turn out. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of overshooting that. Alright. So you just do your job and then we're done, right? There we go. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Hmm, yeah, it's 12 tools. Oh, we lost three people. That's why we got the 12, the 18 tools. <laughs> I was like, how did I get the 12 tools all of a sudden? Or 18 tools. All right, we got this. Yay. 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 I think this guy is dead meat. Mm. Alright, you know what? We have a lot of this, right? What do I want to do here? Oh, 31, right? Let's do 31. Wow, look how much grain I have, guys. That's awesome, huh? Like, look at all that grain and mushrooms. Ah, oh, insects per minute. Nice. Veggies. Very nice. Oh, look at all those bars. Sweet bars. Sweet, sweet bars. And now for my 10 out of 10 win rating. Because I got docked for not killing the traitor. Not having a perfect win. Oh yeah. A bar. And a mystery box. What do we got here? Oh, copper for wood. Mm, that that would have been nice. That would have been really nice. Alright. Do you think I will win... Through resolve, or do you think I'm gonna win through the monastery? Wait, is last rep gonna be before one minute and 30 seconds? Don't worry, don't worry. I got it in the bag. 
I think. <laughs> I think. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I got it in the bag, right? I do have it in the bag. All right, what do you think? Is Resolve going to win? Or do I turn in my monastery? What do you think? And just, just for a little extra something, we're going to add in the lizards. Let's see here. Where do I get all my lizards? Butcher? Arf? Oh, I got a hearth over here that's missing, huh? I'm missing a... There we go. Alright, guys, what do you think? Resolve win or the monastery win? Alright, because I do have it. Alright, I do have it. Burn coal and wood? I, I don't need it. I don't need to burn anything. Look, I'm at zero already, guys. I'm at zero. There, why would I need to burn coal and wood? I'm at zero. That's not even a thing anymore. Alright. Alright, here we go. Resolve. Vote. What, let's do a prediction, right? You guys can do some predictions. You know what? Instead of predictions, I'll make it interesting. I'll give you guys... I will do prediction poll, and then you guys can vote, and then you can actually win extra channel points gambling. All right? So I'll start a prediction. Uh, prediction. Win through resolve or order turn in, order delivery. All right? So you guys can do can do some predictions order or resolve all right go ahead and gamble your channel points away got it all right there we go so gamble your channel points and then we'll we'll I'll unpause it and we'll let you guys decide that way if you guys predict correctly you get to earn some channel points off of the other person. Wow, this is crazy. You guys are voting some pretty crazy stuff there, huh? Let me um let me put this on the screen so that way people can see the poll stuff here that's going on. All right, here, here we go. Transition this. All right. Did you guys predict? What's the result here? 35 to 65. 35 to 65, right? So let's go ahead and switch back to the main screen here. Transition back. And then... And then now we're going to do it, right? So orders, 35, and resolve, 65% of you guys think resolve. Wow, there's actually a pretty good amount of people. It's three people, right? Three to three. Six people predicted, participated in this. And then it's 2K, 2.7K, right? So somebody's winning the 2K. All right, here we go. Some people died, right? I'm, I'm okay with that. Resolve has 65% in terms of the amount, the amounts of uh, points to earn. It's a pretty good even split, right? 2K to 2.7K. So. Are we moving? How are we moving here? 50 points? Hmm, the resolve might actually have it, guys. One minute. It was less than one minute. It was, it was about one minute, though, right? Uh-oh. Humans are falling off.
Humans are falling off. Well, now they're getting biscuits soon, so they should be back in business. No, the resolve might have it. Resolve might have it. I don't know. Well, it's down to the wire there, guys. I'm going to turn it in. I oh, the resolve did win. <laughs> nice. All right. So channel payout. I'm going to pay out the points here. Easy point. All right. So the people who predicted resolve is going to get a distribution of 2K. Choose outcome, right? It was the resolve, actually. All right, those who resolve people won and you got 2K distributed among three people. All right, that was fun. I know, I already know the 50 incense was ready, Shadow. What we were doing was we were doing a prediction whether I was gonna win through resolve or last minute I have to turn in my order for the, uh, for the, uh, the win. Hi, why I entered a stream while it was paused? You had completed order but not delivered? Yeah, Shadow, what we were doing is we were doing a channel pr prediction and I was letting people predict the um, the outcome, whether I was going to win through the order or w whether I was going to win through the resolve. And then whoever got the, uh, the prediction correct. Wow, 5,660 points went to to uh three people nice all right that was a that was a good channel point distribution there all right what do we got here where are we at we're number one right all right so i can go this way block four again all right block four again actually i could go this way right I think this gives this gives us more resources. This one gives more resources, right? So block four. I might be able to block seven later. Going this direction. All right, that's fine. I'm happy with that. And then for this run, what do you guys think? Beavers or foxes? Or middle? All right, you know what? I'm gonna let you guys vote on this. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna, I gotta redo my Twitch integration because it bugged out again. See how like bugged out? It's so annoying. Keep having to like do this. So while while you guys predict or sorry, choose my caravan. I'm gonna use the bathroom. All right, so I'll let you guys do this. Fox. Okay, so. Just a, a little rundown. I'm going to be doing the Royal Woodlands. I'm going to do the Overgrown Library, which allows me to choose any blueprint I want from all the unlocked blueprints that I have in my library. So my first blueprint is free. Anything I want. My second blueprint is still subjected to the P20 rules. And then here are my caravans. So I'll give you the rundown. We've got lizards. we got got er, beavers. The top's got four food slots. That's the best in food slots right now. There's two more people coming in this party. Right? It could be it could be harpies, you know, whatever. You already know the last slot. Middle is harpies, only got three slots. It does have another caravan group coming in. So six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So top has ten, middle has eleven. And middle, what's nice about the middle, even though we don't have that extra food slot, we actually get more parts. So the middle's not terribly bad. We get a little parts. So I don't have to buy it. As you know, I like to buy my parts. Uh, and then the last... What did the fox say, right? Pick me. All right, so fox is three food slots. It also has two people coming. Nice thing about this is probably the barrels. They can make pickle goods. It's not really that great, but sure, why not? Pickle goods is not bad, right? And then for this run, I'll probably do that, right? I might do that or that. I don't know. It depends on who you guys picked, maybe. Uh, but I'm probably going to take that. Maybe. But I'll let you guys vote. All right. So 
I'll figure out the embarkation once you decide. And this is going to be, hang on, April 21-P20. This is number 14, right? We've got 13 wins in a row now. Here we go. All right, I am back. I ate a little bit, so I'm good to go. And uh, looks like I think you guys voted on the bottom. Let me take a look at the results here. Wow, six, three, one. Uh, six for the bottom, one, three for the top, and one for the middle. Interesting. Oh, interesting. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so we got some fox lovers here today. So I'll take the coins. Um, guess I'll take that. Hmm. I don't know, I'm thinking here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take that. At least one point left for food, right? I kind of want to bring bricks, though, because I'm afraid to be brick-starved. We've been brick-starved before. If it wasn't for... for the quest that got us bricks last round... We wouldn't have been able to get any bricks. So I don't know here. I guess I'll take the plantation then, and then we'll take the stones. And then hope to get, like, a farm for the porridge later. I mean, we're gonna need the berries anyways if we want to do biscuits and pies. Or turn that into a ranch. Now, what's... So the question is, what do I want my first blueprint to be? Um, right, no, actually, no, sorry, hang on. That's not true. I need planks. Yeah, I do need planks. I always do planks. I, I just, I can't, I can't live with chopping trees and making planks manually. So we, we might get brick starved. The B right back is still on screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me take this off. Thank you for that. Sorry for that. So the B right back, I need to remove. All right, so... So just to re recap, rundown here. The foxes got boated. Um, and the foxes come with three food slots. Barrels. And we get newcomers. We're on Royal Woodlands. And we're getting an overgrown library. I get to choose any blueprint at the start of the game. And then... Uh, I'm going to bring the plantation and bring money. Because two points is for 28 is a pretty good deal. I always like to bring planks. I don't like to be without planks at the start of the game. That's just me. I might get brick starved. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Let's go. I hate going into a, a run without, br uh, without planks. All right, we got beavers. Oh, man. Drizzle, uh, drizzle in this region is very mild, making the perfect season for looting. Increase the chance of bring bringing back twice the amount of goods events solved during drizzle by 25%. Okay, we've actually done that before and it actually paid out pretty good i think we 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 had like 30 and then we ended up getting 40 for coins uh during the storm all resolve so the trick to this is you want to let's say you're if you're solving cash or whatever you want to turn your cash in at the end uh during the drizzle uh, during the storm, all species resolve, uh, resolves drop 100% faster. No big deal. It's when they die, four blight rot sites appears in settlement. Okay, no big deal. Fuel consumption is 200% increase. No big deal. Strange lights. They have a uh, 20% chance of destroying yield with each, with each production cycle if they don't have services. Okay, that's not terribly bad. It's not terribly bad. It's manageable. 
Um, all right, so now the question is, ooh. Geyser, huh? What is the one thing that I want? What is the one thing that I want, guys? I've got a plantation. Do I go for ranch? I'm still trying to figure out what that one blueprint is. Do I go for a kiln? Do I go for a kiln? I'm thinking here. Get this rain collector going, huh? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna put the rain collector back here. We'll figure it out later. Uh, eleven, right? Yeah, that's fine. Um. Get that park in here. So I don't know if we're gonna get humans or not. I might have to start peeking at the soil. I think there's something in there, right? Or no? Nothing in there. Well, I, I don't think there's anything in there. I, I don't think the drizzle will share the soil thing, right? Yeah, do I prioritize the building? It can make over the quality quant, uh, quality of the building's produ product. Pro wait, wait, I'm trying to read. Do you prioritize what building can make over the quality of the building's product starting off? What do you mean by that? I'm, I'm trying to understand your question here. Do you prioritize what the building can make over the quality of the building's product starting off? Sorry. I'm trying to understand your question here. What do you mean? You mean like prioritize the the uh, the ingredients? What the building can produce versus the star value? Oh, do I prioritize? Okay, so how do I want to choose for the blueprint? You mean? Oh, 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 okay, okay. No, I I when I choose a blueprint, I prioritize what I need to survive first. So right now, I'm prioritizing, in my mind, the kiln. That's fuel. Um, that's something I prioritize. Plus the kiln, also, I can make bricks. And then I can also uh, make jerkies. Those are, the, those are the things I prioritize, right? Food and fuel. So for, for food, ranch... Right? Fuel is, is kind of... The kiln is kind of like a little bit of both. Or a little bit of everything, right? Because it does fu food or makes better jerkies. It makes uh, better bricks than the uh, the crude station, right? And then, you know, or the fuel... And then it helps the... the well, in this case, it doesn't help because we don't have lizards yet. Uh, in terms of, like, the ranch, that... The reason I take, uh, I consider that is because I also have a plantation. And the plantation, I can feed the berries and the, and the uh, fiber into the ranch. And the berries can, can get me, uh, eggs. And then the eggs can actually go into, say, the, the grill or, say, pickle goods or whatever, right? Because the berries, two to five ratio is pretty good with the ranch. And then, obviously, you know, the leather fiber into the leather gives me better fabric uh, long term. So those are the, the two bi major buildings that I, I kind of prioritize as my first choice. Um, I'm deciding right now between those two right now. Do I want the the ranch or do I want the kiln? Um... And 
I don't know which one I want. <laughs> I think I'll have to maybe wait a little bit and see. Um, I don't know. Because, I mean, it, well, I, I should decide now. Because if I want the kiln, I can at least turn the... The, um the insects into jerkies, right? And increase my my output for food. If I do the ranch now, I don't think the ranch is going to help me that much. Right. I think I'm going to have to go with the kiln first. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with the kiln first. I'm really worried about, like, fuel... Where's the dang gone kiln? Did I pass it? Oh my god, I passed it like... Oh, there we go. Jesus. Yeah, I think that's gonna be my first building. What's my second one? Hmm. Alright, so... The foxes eat skewers, right? I'll take the skewers. Better biscuits, too, so I'll do that. Okay. And then we're gonna do this. Kiln is always a stronger start. Yeah, I I, I like the kiln as my start too. So it's not bad. Uh, I think last time I did overgrown library, I picked the kiln, and then I said I was deciding between kiln and ranch, and then the second item for selection was the ranch, which was really funny. I think that was like two days ago. It was really great. I picked the kiln first as my blueprint, and then my second set was came out to be the the ranch as a choice. All right, I'm gonna go for the pie. Um, I'm hoping to get. Well, I I, I think the. Whatever the third race is, they're going to eat pie anyways, right? I think human eats pies, lizard eats pies, and harpies eat pies. So that's not a bad deal. I haven't played since the, gl since the glades got reworked and the foxes got added. Yeah, no, kiln is definitely still a very good, a good pick overall, even with a new update. Uh, so, Boy True said, I just started playing on Viceroy, so I'm still learning a lot. Oh, okay, yeah. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask, and then I'll, I'll let you know. I've got, like, a solid 80-plus win streak. This is my current win streak of 14 in a row now. I actually lost on Friday and broke my 80-plus win streak. So I'm trying to build up a new win streak. Just to show that, you know, it is possible to win 20 consecutive P20s in a row. Because apparently, some people think it's impossible. I've actually seen two different people on the forum saying how impossible it is to do certain things. I read one guy going, oh, it's impossible to do um, no order. I, you know what? I did no order the other day. And somebody said it was impossible to do something else. Bandit, no bandits or something. Yeah, so far I've proven that nothing is impossible. Like, all these people that's been saying, like, this is impossible, this is imp impossible, or the RNG is so bad it's not possible to win. I'm like, well, you know, I actually won, so... It's not impossible. Hey, Stag Z. Thank you for the follow there. Appreciate that. I think we're going to run out of the eggs soon, right? Yeah, I guess I'll get that started.
Okay. So if you're wondering how I extend this, there's another trick here, boy true. Um, if you roll your mouse over the road and hit shift, right, you can actually extend the road like this. All it does is shift whatever you roll your mouse over and hit the shift key. It it It's basically a copy, like a clone copy, right? So let's say I want another one of the these buildings. If you roll your mouse over this, hit the shift key, it lets you basically clone it. So you actually don't have to like go here and start looking for it again, right? So same goes with roads. You're just cloning the road constructions. You don't actually have to click on this. Yeah, I just click on this and draw the roads. Oh, that's so good, right? Yeah, so that's a nice little neat trick for um, shortcut, right? So that way you don't have to fumble around with the, the tool toolbars and selections and stuff. Now, I actually learned that from somebody who, uh, one of our viewers, a long time ago when I first played, a long, long time ago, like maybe my first month, because I was talking about like how this needs to be defaulted on the last item. So that way when I click on this road, I don't have to click on this. And then they pointed out to me that you can actually clone just the road and drag it off. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Because my original suggestion for the, the feedback was whatever I pick here, I would like it to be the last selected building or the last selected choice, so I don't have to like constantly click on this and choose every time. But, rolling your mouse over now with the road is a lot handy, right? A lot handier than whatever, because then you can actually pick and choose what you want to clone. I'm pretty happy with that little tip that somebody gave me a while back. I can't remember who, I have to go back to my VODs. But yeah, I, I, I learn stuff from, from chat now and then, right? And then I pass it on to you to you guys. And then if you know any of you guys who weren't there at the time that, that I learned some of the stuff, you now get to know what's going on. And th this is another example here, right? If I wanted to like go change priority, right? I say like I want more more insects first over meat, I can do that, right? It actually says that right on the screen. Hold shift to change priority. So let's say you want all your meat first before the insect gets touched, right, or used. You can do this, right? Or you can go like this if there's multiple choices. So that's another little neat trick there. If you want, you know, to fiddle with the priorities. That's good to know. I'm pretty sure I would have been waiting another 100 plus hours before realizing it. Yeah. Like, you know what? I actually figured this out by accident on stream no one told me this because i was i was holding shift because i was trying to like clone something over here i was holding shift and i had accidentally clicked on my my resources i was like oh wait a minute but there's numbers changing and then i was like oh wait i think that's numbers and then like everyone on stream was like oh my god we just learned something new is that you know i i actually learned it on stream myself I didn't know, and then somebody saw it, and they're, and they're like, oh, I just learned something from you. And, uh, I, I didn't know that, right? I just, it was by accident, purely. Okay, here's another trick, right? If you want to, like, auto-remove everybody, right? If you hold the magic shift key, you can deselect everybody all at once, like this. Or you can click on this and auto-fill it all at once by shift-clicking. So, so by shift, holding down the shift key... Right, because uh, you can manually do this, right, one at a time, right? But if you want to fill it in really quickly, you hold shift and it auto fills, right? So no hot, no no cheats, no hacks for that. That's another trick, right? True boy, yeah, you're learning something new, right? My brain is expanding. Nice. A very very useful tip there. Definitely useful. Alright, so let's see here. I need to get a trade post in here. Actually, I'll build this right here.
So if you notice at the beginning of the game, I always build like the woodcutter right next to the warehouse. That's so that they can transport the building materials faster back and forth. So a lot of times you might see people do this. So they build it over here first, right? It's actually a waste. So since you're still new to the game, I'm giving you, I'm giving you like another, you know, pro tip here is build your building next to the warehouse and then or camps and then pick it up. Uh, it's the B key to move, right? So if you click on this, you see it's the B key, right? So hotkey V, roll your mouse over whatever it is that you're trying to move, hit the B key, and it lifts it. So that way you don't actually have to click on this. All right, so B key automatically moves. So, so once the building is done, right, you can move it around all you want. But a lot of times you, you'll see like people on other videos or streams or whatever, like they, they kind of do this newbie mistake where they place the camp right there, right? And then... They have to deliver the resources back and forth, you know, to, to do that. That's really a waste. So always build it right next to the warehouse. Like, for example, the berries right here, right? It's all the way over here. You might go, oh, hey, you know, I can click on this. Oh, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on this. I'm going to place it right here, right? Well, if you look at this, it's actually 15 wood and five parts. And the villagers have a carrying capacity of five, unless you have a harpy placed in the, in the, the hearth. Or unless you have like a harpy, or sorry, a, a market, right? Market gives you increased carrying capacity. So what's going to happen is they have to move back and forth like at least four times, four trips to deliver the stuff to this little far end here, right? So you want to build this here first. That way it's really quick. Once it's done, then you can lift it and put it back over here. And then you can fill it up with whoever you want to work on that, right? So that's that's another little tip there. I always put my woodcutters directly next to the trees. Yeah, so, so that's where, that's why you don't want to do that, right? If you always put your woodcutter next to the trees like this, that's a mistake. That's a very newbie mistake. And a lot of, a lot of people do that and they don't think about it because you have to like transport the stuff here uh, to deliver it. So it's not really a good idea to do that. You can just do this and then just move it wherever you want afterwards. So that's a new new little tip there for you. Okay, so now, okay, so here's the other tip. Why I always build the trade posts during the storm is so that I can line up the, the trade, uh, tr the trader to appear right at the drizzle season. The cornerstone always appears at the start of the year, which is the drizzle season. And new blueprint, new orders start off at the beginning of the, the drizzle seasons, right? So each of, each of these things appear at the drizzle season. I generally don't like to open up my orders. Um, I mean, sometimes I'll do early within the first year because these things don't matter too much in the first year. But these other orders here, I like to time it and the cornerstone so that the, the, the trader is available. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit here. Because there are time orders that you need to either accept right away. Otherwise, if you unpause, it disappears. Or cornerstones, it will disappear if you don't accept it right away, right? If you unpause. So that means that some of these time orders or or cornerstones, uh, if the, if they're called ethereal cornerstones, right? It requires you to, to destroy all your resources if you take it. Like, for example, there's a thing called uh, Stormwalker's Tax that gives you 15 coins for every group, new, new group of newcomers um, that show up. Um, oh, I forgot to crank that up. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Busy talking. Um, I should have done that as soon as the storm hit. So the Stormwalker's tax lets you collect 15 coins for every time you accept newcomers, but the penalty is you have to lose all your money at the start of before you take that cornerstone, right? So here I have 28 coins, and if I get that Stormwalker's tax, if I take it, I can't... I'll lose my 28 amber, and I can't do anything with it. That's why I like to have the trader available, so I actually can spend it all. Right? Another one is like... Uh, there's like a fuel one, right? If you take this, you, you'll chop trees faster by plus two, but if you take it, you lose all the fuel... So you might want to have the trader available so you can dump all your fuel to sell it, right? 
rather than just losing it for no reason. Or, or like another one was like fertile soil, right? Nature's gift or something, right? I think it's called. If you take it, all your, all your food gets disappeared. And I actually learned something new last round. The nature's gift turns out you actually lose all your grain. I don't think it was like that before. Before, grains were still intact when you when you accept nature's gift. So I had to, I only sold just enough and I should have sold all of my grains because I had like 200 plus grains. So the trader is, is perfectly synchronized with the storm cycle when you build it during the, uh, during the storm. Okay, so the, the trader has its own um, arrival time, right? So it is synchronized to immediately arrive at the start of the storm. If you build this too early, I think he's got like a five minute timer. And then so he might actually show up during the clearance if you build it too early. So I generally build it during the storm so that that five minute timer is processed during the storm. Um, and then you can actually get him right away at the, at the beginning of the drizzle. So see how he's now here? So I hit unpause. I, I always have auto pause, right? So I hit the space bar to unpause. So he's here now. I unpause again. The cornerstone appears. So now he's available to me. So now if this is an ethereal order, I can actually do something with the trader, right? I can actually spend all my resources if I need to. What do I want for this? All rooms have one more? Huh. This might not be bad. I'm going to take this, actually. That's my first pick. Because the... The, um... The foxes requires crystal bars. And this guy has crystal bars. I could buy some crystal bars off of him. Let me see, who do we have? Hang on, let me... Let me look at this first. Okay, we've got humans. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'll take it. Now, hang on. So the nice thing about humans is it reveals the location of the soil. Oh, great. It's right there. All right. I don't actually have to hunt for it. Perfect. Let's take a look at this. So we did get the plantation. That plus one is going to be useful. But then that plus two is also useful. And I'll get bricks. Hmm. Huh. How useful is the plus one berries? That's the question here. Probably not as useful. I don't have a ranch. The flower is probably going to be more useful. Plus, I'm going to get bricks. Let's go with this one. I might get that quest again, though. Oh, okay. All right. So, I'm going to take this one. Shouldn't be too hard to get 18 because that's... That's the mushrooms per minute. I'm going to take this. Alright, so this is pop five. We sh we're going to pop four or two right away. I'm going to take this because this shouldn't be too hard to do. Plus, I'll get that, right? I'm going to go with that. Alright, this is cut through three. Versus here, I have to trade, right? Do six trades. Sell 20. Alright, I'm going to take the cut through three. Because that could be the very last thing I turn in. So, I'm not... I'm okay with that. And I might end up cutting three anyways. But we'll see. Okay, and then this is... Beavers to 24. But I have to sell 16. The one on the right requires grains. And bricks. Oh, well, I'll get bricks in return, right? Versus left, they'll chop faster. And I get tools. Hmm. I don't know, I'm thinking here. I mean, I don't mind getting more humans if I can get 
the somehow. I don't know how I'm going to get that. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and... Figure out if I want something off this guy, because I'm looking at this, and... I kind of want that rain mill. Oh, yeah, I kind of want that rain mill. But I also kind of want three bars to get some... Some happiness on my... My foxes, right? I'm thinking here. This is really nice to have, by the way. Because then I could just get the humans on that and proc it. Oh, uh, dang. I'm thinking here. How much is this? That's gonna be housing for three people, right? That's gonna be housing for six. How much money is that? Huh. I don't know if I want to give up all that, though. Let's do three of this for now. Ten pipes. I, mean, I could get get rid of some of this. Get rid of some of this. Let's go get rid of some of this. I don't have to open up any any glades for a while. Am I gonna get tool or parts? No, right? Shit. I, I need to keep all my parts. Um. Let's do three of these. I need two pipes. Okay, I'm okay with that. Um, three bars. That's gonna be six, right? Thinking here. All right, you know what? I, I want to do three more. That way, we'll do we'll get half, right? Um, almost. All right, that should be fine. I'll keep the other. The other eight coins. Yeah, alright, so that's fine, right? Three times three is nine. Six is half. I might get to nine. But here, you know what? I'll probably buy more, actually. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yep, alright, so that's nine. That's That should get... Nine foxes... To be happy. Hang on, let me think of here. Do I want to buy more? Because then if I just get all twelve... That might be fine too. You know what? I'll buy three more. I'm gonna get all of them in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna get all of them in there. We'll be fine with that. That'll be all, all the fox homes I need. Boxes. Yep, alright, that's fine. How many do I have? 12. Mm, okay. What's like in here? I need porridge, right? Oh, well, I can't do porridge right away. I need foxes to get to. I need foxes to get two more points, right? Hang on. There we go. Let's try to get that for 30 seconds there. Done. Take it. Take this off. And then 
Get rid of this. Oh, shoot. I should have bought more. <laughs> I forgot we're getting two additional ones to join us. But we only get 12. Ugh, I should have bought more. I should have bought more. Actually, hang on. I can't, right? Because I need the wood for the blight post. Yeah, I need the wood for the blight post. Forgot about that part. Oh, I need bricks. Oh, I forgot to buy bricks off the guy. Brick starve. Brick starve is real. Yeah, brick starve is real. Ooh, tea house. Easy pick. Nice. Tea house. Porridge. Beautiful. I actually don't have to make the uh, kitchen, huh? That's perfect. Hang on. What do you, what do you need? Oh, bricks. Brick starved again. Brick starved again. Fake brick starve. You have a like, clay, clay in the glade. <laughs> I will be brick starved soon. I will be brick starved soon. It's a good thing that's there. I, I really think I would have been totally brick starved. Totally, totally brick starved soon. You know what? Hang on. Let's go ahead and get this back. And then I can get this going first, right? Eight. Six. Three. Alright, you know what? We should be fine though, right? Or actually, I want grain for it. Well, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine. I don't care. Let me turn this off here. Yep, alright, that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna redo this. I still need planks, right? Two planks and bricks? Yeah, I still need two planks and bricks. I didn't bring I didn't I didn't make one of these yet, did I? No, I haven't. I might actually have to reconstruct the the other home. Or deconstruct that, right? Might have to re deconstruct that. Two. Because we're going to get mushrooms, right? Yeah, mushrooms. Okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. All right, that's fine. All right, you are now brick starved. And then you are missing planks. Where's my other guy? Oh man, I just carved around that, didn't I? Wow. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so that thing over there on the right... It's not bad. Okay, we got another something something here. Alright, I'm gonna take the greenhouse since we don't have the farm. And we have drizzle water. So that's going to be amazing. 
I think most likely it's going to be the left. Oh, God. I should have just picked the left sooner. <laughs> oh, why didn't I pick the left sooner? Because I did actually sell quite a bit. Yeah, I, I sold like, what, 17? Oh, Jesus Christ. I should have just done left. Oh, I screwed that up so bad. I thought I could have just finished this off. I think I went I went greenhouse, right? I just want to make sure I went greenhouse. Yeah, I did. Okay. Feels like water's right there. Wow, the plantation feels like almost a waste now. It really does feel like a waste almost. Tonight. Oh, crappers. Crappers. Come on, you got it right. Oh, coffee break. Really? Yes. Oh, he procced. Oh, that guy procced. Nice. Very, very nice. Can't believe it. He procced. over. Seriously? Alright, so I need another one of these. And I need another one of these. Why are they not burning shit? Come on, burn shit. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. What do we have here? Oh, roots per minute. I guess I'll take that. It's not terribly bad. That's a little free food every now and then. 17, right? Do I really want to bring in more people, though? I don't think I need more people at the moment. Alright, I think I'm going to commit to the left. I don't think I can get grains anytime soon. 12? Ugh, 12 is not going to happen either. I'm going to go with the right. We're just going to have to do some trading. Oh my god, that is not... No, three runes. Give me a break. Three runes. Jesus Christ. Do I want to go crazy? I don't think that's a good idea. That was the death of me when I actually lost my win streak. Because I was running around popping glades looking for runes and there was no runes. And I end up losing because of this one. And I was popping around looking for tablets. Luckily, I actually won the tablet one. The tablet's always the death to me, but I managed to win those. But that could have that could have gone really bad too. But you know. all right, all right, definitely not the one on the right. I mean that I've done I've done this before when we actually had 
like abandoned settlements sit in front of us. Or at least if we had like mist piercers or something. Or ancient pact. I can at least figure out where to go for it. I mean that's that might be like one there and then no. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean the tablet's kind of risky. I'm gonna go with something not so risky. Yeah, not risky. So, hmm. Gotta do trades, right? Gotta do trades. Okay. How many bricks do I have? About 35. Okay. Do I want to bring in more people? That's the question of the day. Get this started then. All right, so I need this, right? The, the green water. And I need the other one for the... What are you selling me? Papa, papa. Oh. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> I want that. I want. I need. I need. can't get this guy up to 30 anytime soon. Hello. Oh, I need this. <laughs> I need that. I'm, I've got the mushroom thingy. Wow. Can I come up with 24? I'm willing to sacrifice my people for that. 13. Thirteen. That's ten. I don't need the tools. I could probably give up the tools. Four. What is this? It's two, three, one. That's like six, roughly. I can give give up some of that, right? Okay, wait, wait a minute. Hang on. What are you guys bringing me? Is there anything that there I can sell? No, not really. So I can, hang on, 13 of this, right? Because that will definitely solve a lot of my meat problem. Hmm. Am I getting parts? Shit, those are all my only parts too. Those are my only parts. How do I want to do this? Eight more? Ten. Oh, shit. Can I give up for that? How much is this? Huh. How much is this? That's one. The only way you can get away with it is this, right? Down to two. If you right click on an item in the trade window, it moves the, the entire stack. Ah, okay, yeah. Thank you for that tip. Appreciate that. Um... Okay. I mean, I could give up some planks, right? Ugh, I'm off by one. Off by- oh yeah. Oh, damn it, I'm off by one. Fifteen. Five. Let's see here. Twenty-eight is off by three, right? The other one was off by five. I think the other one was off by five. 
Okay. Two of those. Well, hang on. It's actually cheaper to do two of these. Yeah, it's actually cheaper to do two of those. Because it's six units to make one. Alright, I think that's gonna have to be it, right? Having three parts back. Three parts, I can make a backup warehouse. Or, sorry, a warehouse or a backup... A backup, um... Blight post. Already have, like, what? Already have the harvester, or sorry, the stone thingy, right? I didn't delete that yet, did I? Pretty sure it's fine, right? Alright, let's commit to this. Oh, I did delete it! Oh, God. I did delete it. We only have one left. Shit. I did delete it, huh? Okay, alright. Well... Hang on, I can't really open anything yet, right? Let me think about that. If I open stuff, I lose four people, right? If I bring in people, there's four now. Well, I guess I, that's a trade-off. That's a trade-off. I mean, can I... Can I hold off, though? Hey, I had sold enough, actually. <laughs> I sold exactly enough for this. Okay, alright. Well, the question is, do I want to open this now or later? I mean, I could technically get to this. If I open now, I could take these people and kill off three. My impatient goes up by, what, four? Uh, one, two, three, four, right? It goes up by four. I don't know if it's worth killing four right away. I mean, we are getting mushrooms per minute. I, I do have berries. I think it might be better to do the soil first. And just try to get away with this for now, right? All right, let's do... Let's not do the drizzle water first. Let's just kill off two here for now. Right. I'm okay with losing two. Acceptable loss. So long as it's not... As long as it's not my only human. Oh no, I don't know. I just don't want to lose my human. I'm scared of losing my human, guys. I think I'll have to wait next round. I'm not going to rush shit. Because I don't want to lose my only human. It's just not worth it right now. I mean, I have berries. I can probably live off the berries for a little bit. Until I... I there, can I, hang on, can I come up with five more? Can I come up with five more? That would require selling all my bricks, right? Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna make a freaking. I will trade, I will trade. I'll start trading my... My berries. And get the five coins I need from that. 5.8% chance of to lose the only human. That's that's a probability I don't want to take. Oh no, what are you doing? <laughs> what the hell? I turned it off. What are you doing? I turned it off. Oh, dumb beavers. Dumb beavers. What the hell? Dumb beavers. All right, foxes, acceptable loss. Acceptable loss. I only have I only have exactly housing for 12 anyways. I got mushrooms. Oh, nice. I got mushrooms. Nice. 
Look at that. I got mushrooms. Oh, four patches of mushrooms. Wow. Nice. And I have my herbalist camp still. Hmm. All right, we'll switch you over to this. <laughs> Maybe not dumb beavers. Maybe not dumb beavers. <laughs> okay, okay. Acceptable loss. Acceptable loss. Acceptable loss there. All right, I guess I will take in the humans. Now, if we if we can just get a pie building, yes, you're right. I just need to get that pie building, and then we're perfect, right? We've got grains per minute. We've got mushrooms per minute. We got this nice little mushroom patch. We've got this little insect traps. Nice, look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, no one eats jerkies, but you know what? It's free food, right? It's free food. No one, no one's gonna starve today on our watch. Well, here's the bright side, right? If I get a grill, I can actually use the jerky to feed into the grill. Right? Right? So, it's not a complete waste. It's, it's great grill food. Jerky's into grill. It's actually even cheaper, right? It uses... It's the best ingredient for the grill. All right, we'll do the plantation first, I guess. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Sure, let's go with that. That's fine. Yeah, dumb beavers. Well, they weren't completely dumb, I guess. That's fine. Acceptable. May not coolie something. Dracula. I might actually have to do that. Just in case, since we're running out of coal. Alright, we don't want that to go to waste, right? You said hunger is the best seasoning. <laughs> uh, that is what I've learned playing Frostpunk. Hunger is the best seasoning. So the not so dumb beavers did something right, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful. What do you got left? 25? I was almost about to do some trading too. I guess we could still trade, right? We still could do some trading. Manacoli. Manacoli, something. Roshali. Something, something, which I don't understand. How do we get... Oh, we got two more boxes to join us. That's why. I was like, wait a minute. How do I have 14? But yeah, we we got two more foxes joining us. 
That's why. It's fine. Foxes. I don't think we can get that fox up another notch, right? Unless we crank up the water. I can't get another one of these, right? Forgot, I, I don't have any more parts. I only have enough parts for a warehouse or as a backup switch over to the blight post. You know what? Maybe I can crank up a little bit of water there. Just to move that resolve a little bit more. 0.29 per minute. We got what? One minute? Mm. Alright, hope to get the free samples perk. What's the free samples perk? What what does that give me again? Hmm. Oh, give- Oh, gives parts- Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. What else do we have? Two left, right? That's four. There we go, that's eight. Alright, I'm okay with that. Wanda Vision. All right. Well, definitely need more parts somehow. So yeah, if I get that trade for parts, that'll be a good idea. That's definitely a nice perk to have. I wouldn't mind that at all. All right. You know what? I'll stick the warehouse here. Somewhere over here. Thinking here. Do I want it along that road or, or, or over here? Hmm. I'm thinking here. I guess I'll put it right here for now. Yeah, I guess I'll stick it there for now. Layla. Well, oh, uh, I don't think the beavers are gonna make it. Yeah, I don't think the beavers are gonna make it. Yep, that's what I thought. Dumb beavers. Dumb beavers. I'll deliver that. What do you got for me? Nope, not selling my only parts. Roots? I can probably sell the roots. Yeah, that's alright, that's fine. I don't have any berries, right? I think we ran out of berries. Three? Yeah, we should be fine on that one, too. Yeah, I need parts to get another rain collector. Just so I can... get a larger storage capacity. Okay. I have enough for this. 
Everybody, help out. Let's get this party started. Oh, he guess he's got nothing, right? What are they eating? Roots? Is roots used for this? No, right? Oh, insects to this, but... We don't want to do any insects right now. Yeah, we don't need to do insects right now. I'm not worried about that. We have here. Hmm. Do I want more stuff in the next glade? Oh, I re roll this. Hey, Eliminator, what's going on? Thank you for uh, chatting for the first time. Uh. I don't want the left, obviously. I don't. I mean, the right's kind of meh. It's really meh. This is like the best year to re roll, anyways. Lumber tax could be useful. I guess I'll take that for some money. Shrimps for two? Sure, I guess I'll sell the Yeah, I only have one unit anyways. What do we have here? Oh. What's this? Brewery. Let me think about this. Can I do that in five minutes? This is... Aesthetics, right? I already have one aesthetics. That's four. I need a total of what? Ten, right? Ten, ten. Alright, okay. Let's see here. How many do I need? The aesthetics is eight, right? Eight. Oh, wait, I need, um... Okay, so... F I've already got four. I need 16 more. 16 times... Two. So 16 times two. Right, 16 times two. That is... 32. So I need 32 wood. And then the bottom, I need 10 of those. Right, no, no, no. I need 5 of those, right? 5 of those. So I need an additional 20 wood, 20 planks, 20 fabric, and 20 bricks. So I need a total of 52 wood. Nah, that's too late now, so we'll take that off. So I've already got the bricks part. And let's see, how many is this? Six, right? Six divided, six. How many is this? Also six, I believe, right? Six, that's five, right? So five times, five times six is 30. I've got the 30 part, 32 I can probably come up with. Okay, so I've got the 32 part. I need another 20 wood. I need another 20 wood. That's six, right? I need four, 14 more wood, right? I guess I can delete this. All right, 40, 40 wood. Yeah, let's go ahead and do delete that. 40 wood. I get three fabric back. That is seven. Seven, so I need thirteen. Thirteen fabric. So I can buy thirteen fabric and just crank out the wood. Should be able to get what I need, right? Thirteen wood. Well, thirteen fabric. Hang on. What'd I say? I needed... Hang on, okay, hang on. I need 20 more, right? 
that's 18, 19, 20, that's 20 on that side. I destroy one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 36. 36. That's plenty enough. And then you already got the two, right? I already have that two there. That's 20. That's for first 20. Oh, the bricks is the first 20, right? Uh, I can get rid of this. And that's the seven. I need 13 still, right? Yeah. All right. I should be able to buy... I should be able to just make this straight up. Right? So I need... um. I need 13. Wait, hang on. I need 20 of these. So I've already got 7. That means I, I need 13. That's roughly 14, right? 14 divided by 2 is 7. 7 of these. 7 times 6. Oh, I should probably be on the safe side and just buy it, right? I should just buy it and be on the safe side. Okay. Um, um, hang on. Well, hang on. I, oh, no. okay, hang on. Let me take this off. You know you? I just need to bring that in there, right? So, okay. So he, he, he starts cranking it out. Seven, 14, 14 divided by two is seven, seven times six. Is 42. I theoretically should be able to produce it on my own. The question is if I'm going to produce it fast enough. Right? To do it in time. Fast enough in time. Alright, well, you know what? I'm going to offset it by getting three here. So I only have to do two of those? Okay, three. Uh, let's do five then. Yeah, let's do five. Just in case. Whoops. All right, so that means... 12, 8. I only have to do four of those. That's like, what, one minute? That's cutting it close. All right, because each of them have to do four. One, two, three, four. This is 12, right? Okay, let's do two more. All right, so they only have to do what? This is like 14. They only have to do one, two, three, four. I need 16 of these. One, two, three, four. It's 14. Yep. Yeah, let's just do one minute each on the other side. All right, that's fine. I'm okay with that. But I need to save five, right? Oh god, I need to open the other one. Am I getting any more coming in? I got two coming in, right? Alright, that's fine. I can go down to two. And then whatever this is. Fifteen, right? Sixteen? I need sixty-eight. Eh. I don't have enough money. 17, 16. Oh, you know what? Uh, they, they should be able to produce it, so... I think we'll be fine. I think we should be fine. What's the difference here? What do I want to give up? I guess we'll give up this. What is that? That's like, what, 15 more than I need? Jesus Christ, 15 more than I need to give up. That's a little bit too much, in my opinion. Yeah, that was a little bit too much in my opinion. Shit. I have to give up 15 off of that, huh? I don't know if I want to give up 15. See here, 16, 14, right? They have to make two. That's still not enough. What do I want to give up here? Coal? I guess coal, right? 
That's like what? It's not worth the trouble, is it? Yeah, that's not bad. Alright, I'm okay with this. It's a little less. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, okay, that's not bad. I'll do, I'll do that. So that's 16. They only have to make 4. Alright, so I'm gonna take this order. We should theoretically be able to do that in 5 minutes. Oh, you know what? I could have probably sold my essence. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't need all those essence. I mean, I'm assuming that I'd win, right? Yeah, I should be able to get this. Alright, here we go. Alright, what do we have? We have 54, right? That's that's more than I need, actually. Yeah, it's it's more than I need. More than I need. Alright, so... See here, I need um, 20 of these. Or 5 of these. Let me move this over here. Here we go. Wait, hang on. Three, right? This is actually better. One, two. All right, three times three is nine. Right? 18, 18 divided by three. Okay, hang on. Three, three times four is 12. Right. Oh wait, I only need I only need um I don't need twenty. I need uh, I only need ten. All right, so this is this is four, right? Five, yeah, okay. And one, right? That's ten exact. And the other one was the garden, right? How many gardens do I need? I need one, two, right? That's 12. I already have the one that's here. It's 12. Wait, wait, no. Four, four times three is 12. Um, 13, right? Hang on. Four times. I need five total, right? One, two. Yeah, I need another one of these. Wait, wait, I only need 10. What am I thinking? I only need 10. All right, because I've got four there. I got four here. I only need two more, right? Oh, hang on. Where is it? I need two little ones. All right, I think that's it, right? This is one, two, three, four, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Garden. Oh, that's comfort. No, 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 no. Uh, I need this one, right? Uh, where is it? This one, right? Boom, boom. Okay, so that's eight, nine, uh, eight, nine, ten. On that side. Right, this is four, right? This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this is. This is what? Hang on. This is three, right? Three times three is nine, plus one is ten, right? All right, here we go. I think that should be it. That should be it. How many people do we have working? Five, right? Alright, that should be it. Where's my other woodcutter?
You're missing two fabric, and you're missing two fabric. Oh, come on. I think we got it, right? We got it. How much wood do I have left? I have 22 wood left? Oh, I must have over-calculated on the wood part. Oh, I guess I did over-calculate the wood part. I have 22 left. How is that possible? Over-calculate on the wood. Okay. Yeah, I guess I over-calculated on the wood. Oops. I guess I didn't need to delete all those fox homes. I must have miscalculated somehow on the fox homes. Yeah, I must have miscalculated on the fox homes. All right, what about human home? I guess I can put the human home back. No, okay. Still need the human home. Come on. Nice, all right, we got that out of the way. So now I get a free brewery. Should have just sold my wild essence. That was my first mistake. Can I get that guy up to 24? Somehow. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and delete all this. I don't need this. <laughs> Silly me now. Overcalculated. Uh. Eh, no. I'm gonna leave the humans on that one. Just better to do this. Don't want to mess with that. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. All right, where's my warehouse? Yeah, I guess I'll stick the warehouse there. All right, that's fine. I'm okay with that. This path, I might actually delete that, but we'll see. Catch up. Let's go ahead and catch up. Uh. Alright, so we got a free brewery with a plus five on it, right? Oh, tool shop. Oh, <laughs> what do you guys think? Cool shop or the pie, guys? Did I buy the rain mill? I don't think I bought the rain mill, did I? I passed on the rain mill at the beginning of the game. I have no way to make the pie, guys. I don't have a rain mill. Well... I don't know. The tool shop's kind of hard to pass up. Right? Because I can make pipes, better pipes, and better tools. The one on the right, I might I might get like a cook or something, right? It's better to get a cook or it might be better to get a bakery because the bakery uses the uh, green water. We have a greenhouse or a green geyser, right? I don't want to compete the other one. I mean the the tool shop is not something I'm gonna run all the time. Because if I go with this, it's going to run all the time, and we already have the kiln running all the time. This does not run all the time. 
Right? It's bad enough we have this running all the time. I don't think the pie is going to last very long. That's the, the other problem here. Yeah, we're going to get the green water from that, right? What do you have for bar productions? Well, I got nothing yet. But it doesn't mean I won't have any, right? I got nothing for bar production. Yeah, I do have nothing for bar production. But I have nothing for... For flour either, right? So... I'm kind of a deadlock right now. I'm hoping to get some way to make bars though. At some point. Something because obviously we're gonna need to make crystal dew bars, right? Because of the, the fox thing. Fox homes. Oh, I, I don't need all this. Forgot that I can get all that back. Still can't get beavers up. See, if I go off of this way, I get humans. Still wouldn't be able to get humans up like plus five so that's like what 28 humans still need something to get higher yeah i can't get i can't be get beavers to 24. yeah i got nothing for flour Dumb beavers. Sahuli. Sahuli. All right, well. So how? I don't know yet, guys. I'm still sitting on it. I have no... No idea how I'm gonna do it. Alright, we got people coming in, right? I don't know what I'm gonna do about these people. We're at 19 people right now. I need to figure out how to get a second... Arth going here. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, maybe over here, right? That's a nice little spot there without breaking through that. Oh, wait, I might actually have to break through that. Shit. No, I actually don't know. Well, let's find out. Here we go. Theoretically, should be okay, right? Theoretically, should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be theoretically okay. I'm trying to get a second hearth in. Ratula. Mana Cooley. Alright, so I gotta figure out something about Beaver Resolve. I need to make biscuits somehow. I mean, I did... I think I did come with barrels, right? I could probably make pickled goods. 
Well, one star, though. I guess one star is better than no star, right? Doing, doing, da doing, doing. I mean, it's kind of all, it's not all the time, right? The brewery is kind of like, meh. Yeah, it's kind of meh. I'll stick it over here. Is it better? Yeah, no, it's fine. Let's go with this. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Yeah, all right, that's fine. I don't have any par pipes. Ugh. I'd like to get pipes just to increase that efficiency. It's also very good for humans to to get some buffs. In there. All right, what do you got for me? All right, I'm okay with selling some of these insects, right? Because we're gonna get so many insects. It's gonna be ridiculous. This will give the humans something to do. So I have got, I don't know yet right now what I want to do about this. I'll have to think about it a little more. See what the hell this is. You know, I have to think about it a little bit more. Yeah, six for one is a terrible deal. I'd rather eat that straight up. It's not bad, right? What do you think? I'm thinking that's not bad, because 20 coins for... Because we only have to produce ale like five times. Ten times, right? Ten times. But we're... Oh, not actually, because we actually got a buff on the brewery. Like what? That's like 16, right? Or it's 13. 14, right? 14 of these. 14 times 15 is what? 15 times 14 gets us like 210. That's like 40 coins right there, guys. 40 easy coins. Well, roots, though. Oh, we are getting roots per minute, so long as they don't eat it. No, oh, yeah, we don't want them eating it. Alright, so long as they don't eat it, the local tax actually is pretty good. Right, because we're gonna get like at least forty coins late, late game, or more. Forty to sixty, then we can probably spend that money later. Right? What do you think, guys? I mean, we do have the ale. I just won't be able to make the pickle goods. They can starve. You're trying to become a billionaire here. <laughs> yeah. So, so we can disable this. And make money. Right? They can starve. Yeah. No raw food will bite you for sure. We have... We... 
no raw i don't think we're gonna have a raw food problem i think that once i get that greenhouse going we should be fine right i mean we can sell the insects well, i don't know about that well five for two is actually a much better deal remember they were trying to sell me six for one i mean come on you got to be kidding right but the five or two is not a bad deal i'll take that 13 for four we're gonna get a lot of insects we don't have any jerky eaters so this doesn't matter right What do we have coming? We have more of this, too. I definitely need more of the left, right? Left. Because I need more humans. Oh. Oh, God. 20 fat. No, I don't think I can do come up with this. Nope. Don't think I can come up with that, either. Oh, my God. That would be just heaven for everybody, right? Last one. 15 minutes, though. Hmm. What do you guys think? Can I come up with this somehow? Pack of trade goods. If I re-roll... Oh, I don't know. 15 minutes is realistic. I mean, I could come up with... This... What is this? I think that's like flour or some shit, right? I think it's flour. I don't know, guys. I mean, look, look. On the left, we should be able to do the left because we're going to have so much freaking... No, actually, that's not true. We only have like five of them right now. That means we need 22 villagers, though, to do the left. Otherwise, option for parts? Yeah, well, this one shouldn't be bad because this is just basically eat. Yeah, I think the middle might be okay. The far right? I mean, we will not have food problem for a long time, right? No, I don't think... Th you know what? I, I don't want to... This is way too hard. That's a huge gamble. That's a huge gamble. I'm going to go with... the. I'm gonna go with safe. What we know is gonna be fine. And I'm gonna go with local tax. That's like 20 for ale, right? And I need two war two um, humans, right? We're at 19, I don't know. That's kind of a stretch though. But I do need the humans to get us better. Better, uh, shit there. Hmm. Alright, well, we have money. What am I gonna do here moving forward? I don't have enough money, though. Oh, wait, I could sell this. That's 15, though. That's not gonna be enough. One, right? Yeah, I don't... Ugh. Damn it. Can't do anything about that one. Oh, I do need parts, though. I can do something about that, at least. Alright. That's the brewery. The house brewery, right? I need... I need two... Not parts. Pipes. Pipes. Alright. I still don't know what I'm gonna do about this, guys. I do need two pipes, though. So how... Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... We're gonna... We're, we're gonna make a lot of money off of that. I have no doubt on that. Thing in here. Yeah, you know what? I'll take these guys on the left. And we'll get more dumb beavers, right? 
Yeah, less fox, dumb beavers. Uh -huh. Alright, that's fine. And that warehouse, we're just gonna be swimming, huh? I need to figure out how to get more parts. So I need human homes. Beaver homes. I need to break through something here. I need to figure out how to get this and this going, right? I need to figure out how to magically get beavers up. Yeah, I don't think I need any more of those. Yeah, we should be fine without it. Alright, I still have a flower problem. That's the thing. I mean, if I get this left, I need to get like a brickyard. Right, if I get that, I need a brickyard or a forester's hut. That's the only thing that's going to save me. I mean... I mean, I can. I guess I can get, always get this side, right? If I can somehow get copper bars, copper ores, right? We sold all of our copper ores earlier. Yeah, we sold all of our copper ores earlier. You know what? I'm gonna sell this because we always make it. Beavers, now I need human homes. There, right? Okay, let me, let me take this off so that way we can focus on one thing at a time. Oh, there's soil in here too. I can see it now on this little tree line there. So I need some building to make the beavers happy, right? Some leisure, leisure building. easy right here just basically juggle these but these guys back and forth and we're set I think that tree should be okay right come 
Come on. Oh, shit. One more line. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's see here. Hopefully that free is going to be okay. sell any of those. I think we need the roots though, right? Well, technically, 10 for 5 is actually a good deal. Let's take it. We have a lot of food. I don't think food is going to be our problem. We have a lot, a lot of food. Just this here with this, I think we're going to be fine. We don't have any jerky eaters. That's kind of the sad part. I think that tree should be fine. Let's take a gamble on that tree. Find out, hang on. Yeah, I think that tree right here is also gonna be fine, right? I'm gonna take a gamble on that tree. Yep. Oh, took a gamble. Well, that one right there, I don't think I can remove that tree right there, right? That tree is a no-go. That one right there should be fine. Oh, 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 I don't need to... Oh. Okay, yeah, that, that is fine. Yeah, let me redo this. Yep, alright, so that should technically be fine. Alright, cool. So we have another hearth over here. I need to figure out how to get stuff there. Is it planks or what? It's planks. Okay. What do we have here? Oh, bonding. Yeah, we want bonding. That's going to help me a little bit. I favor him. I might get him to 24, that's the problem. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So. Well, shit. <laughs> mm. I don't need that anymore, so. But this, I need. Need, 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 need. Oh, look at that. I got 47 amber. This thing must have paid off. Yeah, that must have paid off. Alright, well, you know what? I should probably buy more of this, right? How, how many is it to get to 100? I need to do this, what, how many times? 50, 100 divided by 15. That is 7 times, right? 7 times 2 is... 7 times 2 is 14, right? 14 gives me how much? 
Oh, it's totally worth it, guys. <laughs> I just buy all the containers, right? I just keep buying all these containers. It's totally worth it. Yeah, it's totally worth it, right? Get rid of this mushroom. Because we're going to get more mushrooms back over time, right? It's a net positive, right? I'm, I'm net positive on the... On the uh, ale thing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be swimming in mushrooms. Because we have mushrooms per minute anyways, right? Yeah, I'm going to get all that money back. And the mushrooms, I'm going to get all back. Like, I I'm swimming in mushrooms per minute. And then I'm getting mushrooms from the freaking mushroom yard or whatever the hell the... I mean, if anything, they can just eat jerkies and be happy until I get, like, a porridge s supply again, right? So that's not my issue. I could probably afford that, but why do I need this? Why would I need the grains anymore, right? Like, why would I need that? That's my question. I see. I mean, I guess I could plant farms, right? Grains. For free. I guess that's fine, right? Well, I might need one of these. I don't know. What do you guys think? Pack of crops? I can make pack of crops to sell. Wait, do I need pack of crops or anything? No, right? I don't need that. Oh my god, I'm gonna be swimming in that too. Alright, I need a way to get flour, that's the thing. Alright, you know what? I'll buy it, that's fine. We got seven coins on this. I mean, we, I don't need this, right? That's so much money there, but. Insects, 14, five. Oh yeah, nine for five is a good deal. Look at this, 14 for three, come on. That emerge, that Vanguard is just ripping me off. Vanguard is just totally ripping me off. Okay. And you are plankies, right? You, you're just plankies. We need plankies. I guess I'll favor this guy. I don't think I can get that guy to 24, so I guess I'll favor this guy to move the bar. Wait, is this guy selling me anything that I can make pipes with? I had a trade route for two ambers and they wanted four trade goods for two provision packs. Hard pass. Yeah. They're just always trying to rip you off. Yeah. All right. I think what I'll have to do is to get the beavers up, I can probably afford the pickle goods. All right, guys. At this point, I should be able to afford the pickle goods. And then you just do the barrel. You just do that, right? Yeah, we'll just make money off of the top, and then the barrels will be the pickle goods. That should get me the beavers to be happy later. So everybody, except for the beavers. And once the beavers eat that, we'll switch this off. Because once I get this going, too... You stink. Beavers, you stink. Beavers, stink! Oh, I need that. Damn it. I need that. Raquel. 
Ratuli. Alright, I have no reason to turn in any of this, right? I really have no reason to turn in any of that. What I need is... I need pie. I'm sorry, I need a flower shop. Time to start cannibalism tribe. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, guys, what do you think? Should I pop or no pop? I did get the farm. Pop or no pop? I mean, there is a small patch there. I guess a small patch could be useful, right? Or should I pop a large? Because I do... I know I need to eventually pop three dangerous, right? question is, should I be popping the dangerous or not? I mean, I'm kind of in a happy situation. I mean, this could be the last thing I, I do. Right? That's the last, last thing I do. And, and when... I just need to figure out how to do this. I'm still, I'm still thinking about it. I'm trying to figure it out. I do a dangerous, but uh, but I'm on a much lower difficulty. <laughs> oh. All right, it's best time to relocate this. Want that relocated? All right, I guess I'll try to get 12 more of these, or 15, I guess 15. I have a lot of berries, so I can afford it. Beaver should get pickled resolve soon, right? Twenty-four, here we come. Twenty-four, here we come. Twenty six. Forty seconds. All right, Mr. Beaver, pumpkin eater. Ten for three is not bad, I guess. That's fine. I'll I'll sell it. What do we have here? Oh, I can't. Oh, I've only got five, right? I'll sell that one too. Then that's fine. Does I have more? Oh yeah, I'm not selling the parts. No way. in this one right so one two theoretically three on that one all right well we'll chop all the trees we can get first there's only a patch of nine there so they should be able to finish that pretty quickly or eight right that's eight um Set up to pop both get big events and see if you get any good buildings next drizzle with a trader to complete and you'll have money from Ale Perk. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, Lavishing Dragoon. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see. I'm, I'm setting it up. I 
I mean, I might set it up for two more seasons. I got another one over there, right? Happy, shiny people holding hands. Oh, the biscuits. Do I need to turn that in right now? I mean, this done is 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 done done. It doesn't actually go down. Oh, I guess if I take it, I can probably get the biscuits, right? Hang on, how many minutes is this? That's two minutes. All right, I'll take this next turn. And then get the biscuits up on the beavers next turn to get the 30, right? I can probably get this 30 next turn. How much is biscuits worth? Five, right? And that's worth eight. So if that goes up two notch. Yeah, I should be able to get that next turn. Beavers to be happy. Uh, to get this 30 here. So I pop three large. I satisfy this. Beavers eating those biscuits. I just need to figure out more biscuits and pies, right? Well, I, I need a flower, basically. A way to make flour. All right, I'm gonna commit. To, oh, no, I don't know if I want to commit to that right now. That's a thing. I think what I need to do is open the glades first because there might be ruins in there. Because I'm gonna. Okay, here's the deal. I might always, I I always open up a rune right after. I pick something, and then boom, there's a furnace sitting in there. I'm like, oh, why did I pick the furnace? You know what I mean? Or like, boom, I take the tool shop, and then next next thing I know, the Glade's got the tool shop as a as a re, re, rebuild thing, right? So I'm not going to open this or choose this until we open one of these large. I think that's a safe bet. I'll wait it out a little bit. Might not too coolly something he said. All right. What what do I need more of? Beavers and humans. Grats on the no orders victory. By the way. Oh, you saw that angry pigeon. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. You saw that bod there. Um. All right, well, let's see here. I need to move eight to this side, right? Man, how much wood do I have? 240, okay. So I'm just going to rebuild it then. One, two. Oh, not three. Three. That's exactly nine, right? Um. Who do I have? Okay, hang on. I'm just thinking here. Small herbalist has no deposit. Okay, you guys are all free. We'll let you go. Put one on that. It's good enough for me. You go back to the mushrooms. Okay. Let's see here. What are we doing? We're 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 needing this, right? Seventeen. Oh shit. Seventeen. Seventeen is a little bit of a problem. Hmm. Hmm. Shoot. Uh. Shoot. 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 Screw it. Seventeen might be a little tricky. Could get hairy. Could get hairy and scary. And 
Oh God. Do it. Oh boy. 396. We might actually lose people. This bar is growing way too fast. Oh no! No! Oh, did not prepare for this. Oh man. Oh, that be. Okay, that beaver might actually. Oh, just a little bit right there, huh? Hmm. <laughs> that beaver. <laughs> oh god. Who's the closest? This guy, right? Well, the oil is not going to matter, right? This is not a corruption problem. Sacking the oil. I mean, that. Okay, oil does increase production speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't have any oil. I don't have any oil. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to lose that. This guy has to, like, do it in that short little window time frame. I don't think so, guys. That's pretty scary. I don't- I'm gonna lose three people. What do you think? Three people, right? I think three people are gonna die. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah! Oh, damn it! Move house to second hearth to increase the level? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I think I should have done that. I should have done that. Shit, you're right, you're right. I think I could have increased my, my corruption, or my resistance. You're right, you're right. You're totally right. Apothecary, what? What? Look at this. It says, okay, let me screenshot this. I'm like, what? I don't have a, I don't have a pop here. All right, let me screenshot that as a bug. Let me, hang on. I got to report this, guys. Because we don't have, it should have said tea house. It should say tea house. Let me report this. All right, um, I'll give Dev the timestamp of my VOD and they'll watch this and see it. Uh, what is the timestamp? What is it? 628, 658, right? It's around 650. If somebody clips this, that'll be great. Then I can just link your clip to the thing. Can somebody clip this? It says basically he died and it shows the tea house when you click on it. And that's not correct. And I think that I already have my screenshot, right? Hang on, let me make sure I have my screenshot correctly made. Give me a second here. Right, I'm posting the screenshot. Yeah, alright. There. Okay, it, it did work. Okay, the timestamp on this was around 650, right? Around 655 timestamp. Uh, roughly around then, right? It's 56. Alright, there we go. Hopefully that will... That will be fine. Devs can watch that later. Alright, let's see here. We lost three people, right? Where? Pump? I think it was the other one, right? Pump operator. Damn it. Yeah. 1300, right? So this is. I need three beavers on that side. Oh, wait, we lost a beaver, right? 
I don't need to build that home. <laughs> we don't need to build this home. We lost a beaver. Yeah, we lost a beaver. There's no reason to build that home. Oh, but I still need a be- Bruh, I still need it because of the- Of the, um... The quest. The quest. The dumb quest. Yeah, I still need it because of the dumb quest. That's why I need it. Uh, never mind. The name of the building is the name of the job. Read it. Never mind. You don't have park there. It's not name of the building. It's name of the job. Was it the name of the job? Oh, I see what you're saying. The tea house. Well, that's not really the name of the job, right? I mean, I guess that could be the name of the job. Pump guard. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Hmm. All right, we'll let the developers decide, but they used it used to be bugged anyways. It might be the same model. But yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. All right, I need to get one of these over there. To get that also up a level. Dang it. I could have saved like three people. It's looking pretty bad now, right? Hostility is... Looking pretty bad. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, alright, so we need... What now? Four to show up on that side, right? Alright, hang on. Where else can I get people? One guy on that one, right? That was originally one guy there. Let's see here. I need to get... Uh, what do I need? I need... Okay, so I need more... Beaver Resolve to 30. Oh, the Flame Amulet's not bad. I'll take it. That's gonna help a lot. Well, how, el how else do you want to name someone working in a tea house? I don't know. That's a good point. <laughs> tea house. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have another name for it. Let's see here. If I get off of the two. Wait, okay, so if I get this plus two, then we actually get the... We actually get that up, right? Let me hang on, let me move. People over there, right? That's... Five. Eight. All right, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. There we go, that's the 30 we needed. I still need to rebuild this. There, that should be fine now, right? So that should get us a 30 movement on the resolve of the beavers. Right, so we're gonna get that out of the way. We'll get that out of the way. We that will be done. Pop three, right? Oh, she had already left. Damn it! Missed a year. Missed a year. Oh, 
I missed a year. Oh. Oh man, I missed a year on this too. We did get a farm, didn't we? I forgot to build a farm. Ugh. Forgot to build a farm. That's okay. We we can take the berries, that's fine. Uh what am I missing right now? Uh would would pop help now that the woodcutters don't give much hostility? Increasing the population count? Yeah, I'm waiting on this to finish off first. Before taking on new people. Because I don't want to upset the current flow. Because if I add more beavers, they're going to demand more skewers. Right? So, I don't want to upset the flow. Because once they come in, they, they're they not going to be immediately fulfilled with any of the stuff. They, we have to like wait a minute or two for their their break cycle, so the flow is going to get disrupted. Right? So if I take that, I lose my... There we go. So we're done on this. I don't have to turn this in, though. I don't have to turn this in. I don't have to turn this in. don't have to turn this in. That one is fine. Well, now I can take more people in. I, I want more humans, right? Less fox, more humans. Do I have bars? I don't have any more bars, right? Alright. Four humans. Four times three is twelve, right? So we're still fine on the humans. Technically, I don't need this beaver house. Well, three times three is nine, right? Oh, no, no. I only have four beavers anyway, so... So we're good, right? I think we're good. So we're set for now. So I need to carve this. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's three. Yeah, we do have... We do have stuff ready to go. All right, so I got to open it up next season. <sighs> All right, so yeah, I got to open it up next season. Um, yeah, I just got to open it up next season. I think I see soil here, right? Or no? No, I thought it was... I saw soil there. Oh, I'm going to open it up next season. So 17 here. 9 on that side, which is fine. I need a... Dang, I need a service building of some sort. Voodoo, voodoo. What do you have for me? Okay, I can get give and get herbs, I guess. I can get that too. That's fine too. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I, I'm okay with all of that. We're doing pretty good. We're kind of kind of doing pretty good there with the amount of trades. I think the only thing we kind of need now is like a guild house, right? Get that resolve up. So one, two, three, four, five, six points. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. So we gotta make six and a half people happy. <laughs> yeah, alright, well. Yeah, the only one is this one right here, right? Oh, well. All right, we're good. That's fine. K 
can't believe we lost three people. Pretty sad. Oh, oh, you know what? Not an idiot. We got to turn it on. Because I turned it off because I was freaking out about the whole thing earlier. I'm like, why is my orange so slow? I should stop giving good advice. Uh, complete order for bricks. What? Well, I don't need bricks right now, though, do I? For anything. What do I need the bricks for right now, though? What do I need the bricks for? I mean, maybe, maybe the altar, right? Maybe the altar. Well, I can't do a warehouse right now because... I mean, I can put this back. I don't have enough parts. Right, I don't, I don't see parts here, guys. There's no more parts left for a warehouse. So, it, it's a good advice, but I don't... I mean, the only thing I can do is destroy this, put my warehouse back here. Where it, where it belongs. Right, that was where my original warehouse was. It's not a bad advice. I, I panicked and destroyed that to rebuild the thing. For the, um, every three years. But the problem right now is, I need parts. So I'm kind of slightly screwed until I, until this guy finishes, right? What does building more hearth do? Oh, building more hearth reduces your hostility by minus 30. So here it says I have got two hearth. Each hearth is worth uh, 30 reduction in hostility. That's why I built that one there and here. And then the second hearth also allows you to get level upgrades. And this will stack with the original. So I'm getting a plus two off of this. Right? In addition to the plus two that's off of here. So you want to have more hearth to reduce your hostility. Right now, I'm just milking the beavers for this over here, but... It's not really moving by that much, huh? 0.4, it's only four beavers. I think I should have just switched back to this guy. And let him eat the pickle goods, right? Yeah, I mean, ha yeah, whatever he just said, right? So adding more hearth also allows you to have this here as something that they can go to like let's say if i pop this and i have my farm set up here they actually can just go like here for their work and then go right back so this is a really good spot right here for a second farm speaking of thank you for that <laughs> i want to add my second farm there hostility level two Okay. Foxes are starving? How are they starving? How are the foxes starving? We have porridge. Oh, it's the pickle goods. Need denied. Alright, well. There. No more pickle good needs denied. Oh, I ran out of pickle goods. See here. You have enough ale, right? I guess like well, I do have a surplus of pickle goods. We'll 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 wait on that, I guess. Or I'll let it I'll let it slide. I don't have any more containers, right? No containers. All right, what else are you offering me? Yeah, I'll sell that inside. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. They run back and forth on that one. All right.
minus that one. Hmm. What can I do to get 12? Five, right? Let me go ahead and do this. Might be able to get that finish in time. There, that should be fine, right? Nice. All right. What do we got here? Ooh. Wait, aren't we aren't we getting money from the walls or copper from the walls? I can't remember. Plus one to insect production. Insects every yield from gathering, farming, or production. Well, no, we're not. I don't think that's production though. I don't think that stacks with the uh, with this, does it? I don't think it stacks. I think it, well, it, it should stack, right? It should stack. I think it should stack. I don't know. I'm thinking here. You're 95% sure it doesn't stack? Well, it stacks. It stacks during the, during the, um, in the Cursed Royal Woodlands, though. I don't think it, I don't think that insects would stack, but nice if it does. You guys are all thinking it doesn't. I mean, I don't know. It's 50-50. I'm not actually sure. I think it does, though, because we've seen it stack for for the Royal Woodlands. Take it for science? Ugh, I don't know about that. I'd rather take the left, right? Because then we make some money. Because we're going to probably kill some people off at some point, right? I don't know. Plus one to bars and crystallized dew production. Hmm. What do you think? Left or right? Or middle? I guess you guys all want middle, right? Alright, how about this? Gain 10 pigments for every 10 insects produced, right? So that means that if I start getting pigments... We know that it does work. Correct? Is that logic sound? Like if I get this and we start getting pigments, that means that we are get this does work. And well, and then the second one is gain additional insects every yield from gathering, farming and production, right? This is yield. So, I don't know. We'll take it and see. Because this is also, I mean, it feels like plus one insects for every two. I feel like that's a yield. Right? I feel like that's a yield. I mean, the only way, all, the only true way to find out. Well, I know there's no other true way to find out, right? Because I have to, I have to produce the mushroom. All right. So let's, 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 um, let's watch this, right? So hypothetically, since I'm. I'm I'm spitting out like what 16 12 right 12 they might proc too right 12 so let's say 12 no proc and let's see that 128 change how's that right because our current insect gain is 128 so we'll find out right well hang on let's see how many we have we have 90 right we currently have 90 so let's take a look at the change value. On the first on the first proc right here. Incoming. Okay, she did one. So that went up 28. It did change, guys. Right? We went from Oh wait, wait, no, 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 it didn't change. Because she did four, right? Four is two. It didn't change. Four shrooms is two, right? So yeah, we got two. We got two from the four. So two insects, no change. 
Yeah, no change. 92, right? Yeah, no change. And what was the other one? Yeah, we didn't gain any, right? Well, that's pigments, though. That's a pigment gain. Gain additional insects every yield. All right, so that's... Yep, no, no change, guys. It does not stack. All right, because otherwise we would have gotten three. We would have gotten three or we would have gotten six, right? I think we would have gotten six. Yep, we would have gotten six or three. So it does not stack. And there's no progress, right? There's no progress on that. So totally useless. Yep, totally useless. Yeah, it, it yeah, it's totally useless. Alright. We learn something. Fabric, I guess I'll sell it. Grain bag. We're we're on year eight, right? I don't think the grain bag is gonna make a difference at this point. I don't think the grain bag's gonna make a difference. What do you think? I don't think the grain bag's gonna make a difference. Never trust chat? Yeah. I don't think that grain bag's gonna make a difference at this point, because we're already in year year eight, right? It might it might make a difference in two years. Reroll? It's kind of a waste, though, to re-roll that. I have only two re-rolls. I mean, it's not terribly bad, right? I just don't want to waste my re-rolls on a non-legendary year. I, I I should just take it. Yeah, I'll just take it. Hey, thank you for that follow there. D J J. Appreciate that. Did you follow before? I feel like you followed before, because it didn't... My alert didn't go off that you just followed. So you must have unfollowed and refollowed. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Plus three to the humans, right? I gotta take that. That's a good deal. Rewind for every ale produced? Oh, that's a very good deal, alright guys? I think that's a very good deal. Now we got five to pop something. I can probably sell my wine too. Look at that, 22.8. I don't need this, right? I'm gonna get rid of. Hang on, let me make sure if I want to get rid of that. Three. I get I guess I'll get rid of three. I'll keep the six. I might need the the other. I don't know. It might be a long game, so I don't know. I need pipes, right? Seventy-five. I can probably get rid of a couple of these, right? I'm sure we can spare. We can spare a little bit of the wine. You know what? Hang on. Let's go ahead and get four. So I can pop two more, right? We're gonna get how many off of this? Three, right? Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> four? I want four. I get three three off. And then how much do I want? I'm gonna get two coming in. Wait, was it three coming in or two coming in? Oh god, I forgot. I think it was three coming in, right? Three coming in. Selling essence. Yeah, I've already I'm already selling three. 285s poggers yeah i don't yeah i don't think i'm gonna run out of that let me see here how many how many is coming in three yeah okay just make a ton oh you i guess i can make yeah i like to have my spot for that i don't want to do that because i want to be able to throw this guy in there if i need to to manipulate the the rain collector so no i'm gonna sell this Because you can't, you can't deselect the robot and put somebody else in there, right? I don't think you can. Can you? 
If I build this, I think that slot goes away completely. I'm pretty sure, like, if I upgrade that, it goes away. I prefer to use that as my my ma manipulation. All right, what is this? Three, three coming in. I don't need three of this. How do I get parts all? How do I get more parts all of a sudden? Wait, how do I get the extra parts? They must have brought it in with them. Yeah, they must have brought it in with them. All right, that's fine. Oh, hang on, let's go back and figure this out. Um, I do want four. Build warehouse and play in here, or I just break it through first and then sell it later. Well, let's go ahead and break through the glade first and then sell it later. Figure out the trades here. That one's an extra warehouse, right? Let's go ahead and break this first. And then we'll trade what we need. We might need stuff, so I don't want to trade just yet. And he's got 1 minute and 30 seconds, right? One, yeah, okay, so that... The money will come in before he leaves. Where's my other beaver? Oh, that's all my beavers. Do I need a, do I need the kiln worker? No, I don't need the kiln worker. Here we go. Let's get those knocked out of the way. And then figure out what we need. Okay, the tree's not bad, right? Butcher's camp. Can we already have a butcher? No, we don't. That was last game, right? Alright, so the butcher gets us the skewers for the thingy, right? So that's good for us. And this is an easy solve. All the homes are going to be less, right? Oh, shit. That's fine. That's fine. We're You're still happy, so we're fine. Alright, so that's one down. Uh, we can probably make money off of that. That's the other one, right? What else? Um. There. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Shit. The tree lines. All right, well, hang on. We'll just do the other one then. Should be able to do this other one, right? Three coins. Well, actually, I can't right away because I got to wait for the thing, right? The money. Well, I could sell money, I guess. That's not a big deal, right? We're going to get the money in 46 seconds. Um... But then he's going to leave, right? Right at that moment. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what I can turn in. Do I want to turn in the beavers? No, right? I'll buy five coins then. Get rid of this. That should be fine. Oh, almost fine. Almost fine. It's like six difference, isn't it? Get another ten. We have a lot of beer, huh? Hang on, we also have the ten off, right? Eh. 
Two. Okay. Two. I can live with two. There we go. So we have enough. So we won't worry about this other guy showing up late. All right. Let's go ahead and see about this tree here. Let's see what that solve is going to be like. And you can see what this solve is going to be like. I mean, he doesn't sell any oil, but he sells tools. I might need the tools, right? And hang on, we... We'll get tools off of this if I need it, right? Well, that's not a big deal. Alright, here we go. Come on. Oh. Alright, so the Totem Denial is not too hard. I got the beer. Easy peasy. Alright, that wasn't terribly bad. I can do that one seven minutes. Oh, wait. Oh, I know why I got the parts back. I accidentally deleted my, um... My thing. I know why I have four parts... Like, why do I have four? That's because I deleted this. I was like, wait a minute, why did I... Okay, that, the reason I did that was because I wanted this. Alright, thank you. I finally put that blight post back. You destroyed the blight post? This game's hard? Yes, finally. You don't have any blight posts. So, yeah, I screwed up on that blight post thing. I just read the chat message there. Or right, we're gonna go with this one, right? Shouldn't be too bad. Or right, hang on, before I do that, I need to open this other one, right? Well, that doesn't. You know what? Hang on. How much wood do I have? Oh, I do need the wood. Do need the wood. All right, well, hang on. Let's go ahead and carve this out then. We'll come back to the other one. That's not a big deal. High level of corruption. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, Altar of Decay. Easy peasy. Thank God. Which one do I want first? Yeah, I, I guess that's okay, right? One less person with a house. Greenhouse worker died? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna cry over that guy. All right, well... Storm water, right? I could use storm water, so I buy six parts or six pipes off the guy, right? What else are you selling me that I could use? I guess six, right? And three of these. Or two of those. Three of those. Okay, hang on. We're gonna get money soon here, right? Beer for the six pipes? You, do you think I should sell my beers? I guess I could sell my beers for the six pipes. Fine, too. I mean, I do have a lot of beer, don't I? Yeah, that's fine. I can do that. Will I get a lot of beer still? I don't know. I need to wait. Is, is he selling any more containers? No, right? No more containers. Okay, that's fine, right? What do you got for me? Nothing. And then what do you got for me? That's fine too, right? 
I got 56 lops. But how will you maintain your colony's level of alcoholism if you sell your alcohol? Well, currently, they I have no way to serve it. So it's not like a big deal, right? I have no way to serve him to begin with. So. So that should solve my blue water problem, right? I have nothing that uses yellow. Just drinking it isn't enough for them. They need to be served. I know, right? Alright, so we got all of our quests lined up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Alright, you know what? I'm going to take the, the furnace. Let's move on. Oh! Tavern or guild house, guys? I think it's got to be the tavern because we have all that beer. I mean, the guild house, what is that going to give us? Two, right? It's not as good as the tavern. It's got to be the... Yeah. We have beer and wine, so I think the one on the right makes the most sense. Let's go with the tavern. Yeah, the tavern is the best choice. Alright, now we can serve the beer. Serve it up. Yep, that's fine. Twenty-five? Yeah, I guess it's fine, right? So we're still missing parts. We're needing parts. Alright, what do we have here? Seventeen and eight. Oh, I'm short one. What do we lose? We lost a a human, right? Oh, beavers on that side. There you go, dumb beavers. Okay. Alright, what do I want here? Left or right, guys? Probably the left, right? Because then I get money and the thing. I round out the beavers. Or, well, on the right actually rounds out everything one for the human even number that one evens it up right to six that even well that's actually not true because our housing are now multiples of threes right multiples of threes means the left is actually better because we have we have a less fox on the left Right, so Fox 15, right? I only need five houses for the left. One more house for the Fox. Three times five. Beavers already have two beavers. I can delete one. Humans on the left is ten. Ten is okay. I can just do four, right? I think the left is better. Yeah, we'll go with the left. And I need to get Arth in here somewhere, right? Here? Here? Here. Here, okay. Need that tree there. Nice little soil patch there, too. A soil patch over here, too. Butchers, right? Okay, butchers. Alright, we're doing pretty good. I don't think I need to open anything else, right? I need flour now. I need a way to make flour and then we're good. Greenhouse worker died, no big deal. What do you need, 35 points? Oh, the pickled goods is running out. 
All right, so the thing we need the most right now, the thing we need the most right now is um, flour, right? Flour. And more of these containers. Right, more containers. Okay, I could I could sell that. Fine, eggs. Yeah, I could sell eggs. That's fine too. I just need that, right? And then we're good. Yeah, I just need flour. Yeah, I just need flour. Well, this here right gets me skewers, right? Oh, bars for the, bars for the, uh, bars for whatchamacallit, the foxes, right? Oh, shit. Oh, I could probably get it off of this, right? The marrow off of that one. Yeah, okay, all right. I might be able to get the, the bars for the foxes off of that one. And then make my own pipes. Should have gotten the tool shop. <laughs> I should have gotten the tool shop because then I could have probably solved some of these other caches. Hang on. So how many do I have here? Seven, seventeen, and twelve, twenty-two, twenty-nine, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine gives me one full point. 29. I need one more to make 15, right? If I get one more tool from somewhere, I can do 1.5 instead. Right? 1.5 instead. Oh. Hmm. What do you guys think? Take that little scribe and move on and get that one extra tool? What do you think? Or re-roll. I mean, I don't need the Trapper's Camp, right? I mean, I do have the money to re-roll. I mean, that's not very ideal, but at least it solves my tool problem, right? Because I can move the bar by 1.5 on this and the other one. I take the one on the left using this. I can walk away with some of this to take home. Right, for the next round. I don't have to use that for sacrifice, right? So this gets me the bars I need for the fox homes. I can use that to make the one tool for this box here and this box here, and that's 1.5. Alright, so 1.5. That gets me 0.5. So 1.5, that's two points, right? Two points total from the chests or the events. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus two is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just need to come up with two and a half points on my own, which looks like I should be able to do that. I think the, the best thing to do is get this. Stop what you're doing on this. And then just get the tools. Get the scribe and just move on, right? We just need that and move on. I don't really the rest of this blueprint doesn't matter anymore. Right? I just gotta wait until these guys pay out. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I need them to give me two and a half. A little bit more. A little bit less than two and a half, right? So where does that leave me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here, this blue marker. So my my second blueprint basically is the cutoff for winning. All 
Right? The second blueprint is the cutoff for winning. Oh, wait. Why am I... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's already building that. There we go. I don't think... I don't think. No thoughts? Head empty? Yeah, see, as long as we get to... To this blue notch here, then we're good. Oh my god, the tool shop! <laughs> oh, I'll take it. I'll take it, doesn't matter to me. I just need to make one... One tool. Dumb tool. Oh, we are four, right? Okay, yeah, we already got this one. Doesn't matter, really. Right, so once we get to that little blue notch, then we win. For the, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win from the blue notch. I don't need flower anymore to win. Don't need flower to win. We don't even need this, to be honest. But I'll solve it anyways. Yeah, we don't... We're gonna be fine. Just fine. Alright. We just gotta get to this blue notch and then we're good. Altar of Decay. Yeah. Oh, look at that! <laughs> We're just blowing through that during the storm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Everything's peachy now. What? You can have the insects if you want. Let's go ahead and do that. How do I get beavers to be happy a little bit more? Oh, oh, oh god, no! Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, guys. Well, ho on the bright side, hostility is going down, right? Right? The bright side, hostility is going to go down. Okay, human fire keeper. Blight post. W one more person. Fox. Uh, what did the fox say? We just died. Yeah, there we go. On the bright side. We just crossed that point of no return. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the flower mill, guys. We finally got the flower. How funny is that? How funny is that? I don't need the brewery anymore. You can do whatever you want. Left. Is it lagging for anyone else? No, it shouldn't be, right? Not on my end? Yeah, okay, yeah, it's good. I, 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 I'm, I'm already, I'm already winning. We've already crossed that point of no return. I just gotta collect that, make the one tool, and then we're set. And then if this pans out, then even better. Vegetables, huh? Oh yeah, hey, more ale. Nice. No containers? I'll buy it. Oh no, tablet, look at that. More ale, huh?
All right, I just need this tool shop to start making me one one bar. Hang on, or I just buy the tool off the guy. No, he's not selling tools. Okay, that's fine. We just gotta get this done and we're good. Or maybe not. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six and one and a half? Hmm. I might just might not even need the I think we got it. I think we got it. I might not even need the tools. I'll I'll collect this anyways, because I can at least I wanna at least win with this knocked out. So we can walk away with with 18 extra food. So it's always still a good idea to take the food. I've made the mistake once for ending the game before finishing off taking my nine food stock. So I don't want to rush into that. So that is amazing. My goodness. Humans. Everybody's happy, humans. They, they also got coats too, right? Coats from the chest here. Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. If they keep cruising, I might not even have to open anything. Yeah, I might not even need to do any of the chess. Yeah, yeah, I might not even need to do the chess. I got biscuits from, from the cash? Yeah, did I? Did I get the biscuits from the cash? No, oh, I must have gotten biscuits from the... Oh, oh, from the trader. I should have, oh. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 from the, from the, from the, yeah, 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 the mystery box. The mystery box. Let's call this guy over. Say hello to my friend. Oh, this is a good luck. Oh. <laughs> it's the guy that's gonna give us the, the bad thingy. Sure, I'll take the temple. One, two, three, four, five, right? Ho, ho, ho. Hang out. Hang tight. You're next. Hang tight. We're gonna kill you before you leave. <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's six. Oh, I already won. I miscounted, guys. I totally miscounted. Bye-bye. I totally miscounted. Oh, hey, I got a free blueprint. Nice. Nice. Did I, did I finish the chest? I did finish the chest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, nice. Nothing there, right? Nothing to walk away with. All right, we are done, guys. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. That was a nice one. I miscounted. I thought it was five. Well, at least that did not take as long as that first bar, right? We are now at 15 games in a row. How about that? Huge gamer. I know. That was awesome. So who do I have to block? Okay, I can't block this guy, but he's going out. I can go out as well. Or I can go this way. Take the flooded mine. Marshlands, flooded mine, going to sleep. Love the stream. Yeah, thank you, boy, True. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you for hanging out. I think I'm going to go this one, right? That's going to get a modifier and uncover three. 
I should still be ahead of this guy. Well, I'm barely ahead, but I should still be ahead because if I do this, I'll get a modifier and he won't. The stream loved you too. The stream... <laughs> Yeah, the stream loves you too. Exactly what he said. How come you weren't using the Forsaken Altar? I didn't need to. I didn't need to. Um, I just didn't need to. Like I, you, you saw I canceled out of it. I didn't really need to. So. Yeah, we actually got a dud, right? I did use the Altar. We killed two people off and... And it was a dud, whatever the... Did we kill two people off? I don't know if we killed two people off. Did I kill... Yeah, I did use one. But yeah, it was a useless. It was a dud cornerstone. We figured it out that it does not affect the... The insects trap. Alright, we're gonna take this one, right? Oh god, these choices. They're all beavers. Alright guys, I'm gonna let you pick. Because they're all beavers and I really don't care. Jesus Christ. I mean, the bottom is probably better. It, well, actually, the top's not bad either. Right? You got, like, bars and you got money. Yeah, the top's not bad either. Because I think the top gives you pipes. So I can make pipes off of that and get something to open up. I mean, they're all beavers, so I don't really care. Bottom is eight. Top is nine. And let's see here, there's two coins here, right? I can take two coins, I can take the farm. And then I'd probably take the two planks. Right? That's probably what I'm gonna do with the marshlands. Alright, so I'm gonna let you guys vote on this. So so I can use the bathroom real quick here. So it's, that was a long session there. Alright, so BRB guys. So just, just to give you a rundown, this is Flooded Mines on Marshlands. And what Flooded Mine means is that every year, hostility doesn't grow, but more villagers means more hostility. So let's, let's vote. 